you've heard of the term situation ship. I've taken it and, and made it something different. The situation ships that we find ourselves in have the power to cause us to shift our perspective either for good or for bad. When we shift for good, we've taken accountability of what we've been through, how we've been hurt, unhealed trauma, that causes us to shift in consciousness. So situation shifts can be very beneficial, right? If you're learning. Most people do not enter a relationship to find out what's wrong with themselves. Most people are looking for relationships to bring ease, and peace, but that is only half of the coin. You're a co-creator of this relationship experience you're currently in, and that's why a situation shift has a silver lining. telling me, are you telling me that our ancestors are a type of baton and whatever was incomplete on their journey, they pass it to you for completion, for resolution through you? Absolutely. Now listen to this. A few minutes ago, I said they had their shot. They had their time. Mm -hmm. But there is a memory there is a behavior, there's a trait and a trauma. How you judge it good or not good, that's in your blood. This is why I never focus on being, I'm just, I'm going to be that good. If you're just that good, there is no lesson. Lesson comes through friction. Why? Mm. That's how you got here, brothers and sisters, through mm. friction. Mm. You weren't looking pretty having sex when the orgasm came. Some parts of your life don't look pretty either. Mm. So when you look at the baton that's passed, it has to expand and grow. Because remember, yesterday never comes back. Mm -mm. You can look back to go forward. But to reenact an abusive behavior is not part of the process. You may be, you may be abused to get jolted to start the healing process. Right. Get, let me give you a better example. Don't be this guy. Raise your drive and libido. It's time to man up with X-Wolf. Boost your testosterone levels to help decrease your body fat percentage and increase lean muscle mass gains. Boost your stamina and blood flow for those tough workouts. And these workouts also. Go to xlabsubs.com to find out more. What up, party people? We start shooting tomorrow. A few little vignettes for the TV show, The Situation Shift with Zoe Williams, produced by Marcus King and Tony Spires. You guys remember Tony Spires produced Def Jam Comedy, I think that's what he produced. Be careful using the word shooting, man, because I got nervous when you said it. Ain't shooting. nobody shooting for real, Bobby. <laughs> Where Bobby's mic? Does Bobby got a mic? <laughs> yeah. Is this thing on? The situation shift is going down. Listen, if you guys want to participate, I know a lot of people are nervous, a little scared, 
to come on the TV show, it's all right. <laughs> you know, we're not, we not on no Jerry Springer crap. We're going to have some real resources for you. All you got to do is email me, VOR106 at gmail.com, to get on the situation shift with Zoe Williams. I'm telling you, this is a very, very unique show. The whole team is together pulling. Sarah is a producer <coughs> on the show. Whoa. Okay. Sarah got some producer credit. <laughs> yeah, we pulling Sarah in. Sarah is a producer on the show. Look at that. Also, this Wednesday, I might even have Bobby over there with me, man. This Wednesday, I think it's gone. Wednesday. You gonna be gone? Yeah. Bobby always gone. But when I tell you Bobby be traveling, these streets, baby. December 22nd to the 23rd to the 27th. So 22nd, 23rd, and 27th, I'm gonna be taking over Donna Michi's show at KBLA 1580 AM. I'm gonna be doing the voice of reason over there from four to 7 PM Pacific Standard Time. Phone line's gonna be lit, you might as well jump in. We're gonna really go ham. It's gonna be a great show. KBLA1580.com is the website. Also download the KBLA 1580 app. Get it, get it. Get it. Do they do they post the shows after you do them? Do they archive them? And, and yeah, them? now that's what's dope about them. They keep the shows. They archive the shows. So Can you, can you get through them through the app? I think you can. Uh, sure. I haven't done it myself personally, so, <laughs> but I think you can. Because um, they be replaying, like, repeats. They, re they replayed that one show. Bobby was on Lord. Bobby was talking to this young boy like, hey, hold on, son. <laughs> Bobby was giving that kid the blue. I love it. I love it. And you know what? The people over at KBLA, they love Bobby. Every time I walk in there, they be like, boy, I was listening to that show. Boy, Bobby be giving it 1,000. I say, yeah, that's who Bobby is. That's, that's who he is. That, the young lady at the show told me that. She said, Bobby keeps it 1,000. I said, okay. 1,000, wow. So, I'm still promoting here. Hey, la hey, it's the end of the year. You might as well uh, get the Shrouded Lighthouse. I just went to the post office this morning and shipped off uh, several copies. Listen, you want to get your copy now. The, the, the supplies are dwindling. All right, I'm making room now. I'm throwing boxes away. There you go. <laughs> there we go, man. So, look, go to the shroudedlighthouse.com. The numbers, uh, the number of reviews I've gotten on Amazon has started to blow up. And right now, they're all five stars. Yeah. So I'm very appreciative for the people who have written a, a review. And like I said, the, the, the feedback from this book is very positive. It's exceedingly positive. So many people are saying it's helped them, it's changed them. It's lifted them up in ways that no other book has. And I'm humbled to have received the gift to be able to write it out and figure it out. Thank you so much for taking the time to go to Amazon.com and write your review. If you haven't done it yet, please do it. Also, if you have your copy, take a picture of it. Tag me on Instagram. Let's, let's, let's get the word out, because this is a heater, man. This one right here is a definite heater. Hashtag it. Yeah, man, and also we got to do right by my men's, my brothers, my man's in them, Total Package Energy. TPE. Mm -hmm. We've been rocking with Total Package Energy for over seven years now. TPE. I, we got to keep them in our support chain because, like I said, they're having a difficult time with social media. Social media is kicking them <coughs> off their, uh, you know, their, their platforms. Please support the Total Package Energy Shot, uh, the B12, the pea protein, the orange chicken. Please, orange please, chicken. please continue to support Total Package Energy. Cash mob them. That was the term that Veronica Conway used to say with regards to black people supporting black owned businesses. Cash she would say, go cash mob. cash mob. Every business that I put in front of you, man, let's go cash mob them. And what that means is 
not one single person is responsible for doing the most. Right. If everybody does a little, then that is a significant contribution of black dollars to an existing black owned business. Right. So everybody, let's form a mob. <clears throat> Listen to me now, a mob of twos and fews. Not one person saying, here's $700. Right. Here's, here's $1,000. Yeah. No, twos and fews from 1,000 people it serves to make a very exactly. impact, a very huge impact. It does. So please go support Total Package Energy. Go support X Wolf. I got gray hair, dog. I need it. <laughs> My testosterone has hit mm. an all time low. You know, we tied, Bobby, I, I started to experience it yesterday, Bobby. I was at the cigar lounge, and I was tired at the cigar lounge. And I'm normally not tired. I'll be watching the games. I was literally tired. I was fighting sleep. My Lord. I said, now, is this the cigar? Or is this just me? It's the nutter butters. <laughs> nutter butters. <laughs> Put down the nutter butters. No, let me tell you something about, about some nutter butters. Sugar the artificial that stuff. That steals your energy. Let me tell you something. Artificial let me tell you something. energy <laughs> that steals your energy. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you but something. That shit, go send it back to hell where it came from. <laughs> let me tell you something. <laughs> <laughs> your ass will be fine. This right here. <laughs> let me tell you something. It's the devil's work. I ain't gonna never <laughs> get up with the devil then. The devil's Me and the devil work. friends. It's the devil work. Fuck wrong with you, nigga. Nutter butters, nigga. Put them damn nutter butters, send them back to hell. <laughs> I didn't have no nutter butters then. <laughs> Even back with me. <laughs> I didn't have no nutter butters then. <laughs> Shit. Nigga talking about I'm tired while he's sitting up eating the nutter. No, butter, but nigga. no, but I didn't have nutter butters, butters yesterday. I'm done. Nah, nigga, jump. Nigga, it's your body, nigga. It don't, nigga. When That's you the eat, first time I've had nutter butters in months. Like it's like a stay in your body only that day and shit, nigga. It vanished the next day. Kev. That shit evaporates. Kev, it's been <laughs> months since I had this. I walked into that motherfucking shell station this morning and saw these motherfuckers <laughs> sitting next to some Lorna Dunes. You didn't buy those for the night. I flipped a coin, nigga. <laughs> I flipped a coin. <laughs> God damn it. You, you be eating stuff like that, though. It's <laughs> good. <laughs> hey, I didn't eat this particular shit. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> man, what I mean? I ain't eat the particular turd, but these other turds. <laughs> <laughs> what else I be eating, Ken? <laughs> See, I'm a Gemini. I balance the shit. Man. Let me have another butter <laughs> no. and some ginger. <laughs> <No. laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> nah, it's all good. But I went home and went to sleep, man. So X Wolf, good shit, man. Get your X Wolf on. After thirty years, most people's testosterone, men, most men's testosterone's dip. So hey, man, dip. get you a little supplement. That's why you work out. And I would say stop supporting uh, the GNC version of this. What is that? Uh, what is it? What is that called? Nugenics. Nugenics. And support the black-owned version of it. Go to X Labs, uh, xlabssups.com. Support, 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 support. Also go to the Hurricane <laughs> Report. Hurry. She always slow on the hurt. No, it don't click right. It don't click right. right. The Hurricane Report, write it, take action, maintain freedom, h-report.news. Get over there right now. Support uh, this uh, news source. And this is what I like about them. They speak, you know, they have news sources that speak to our folk, whether you call yourself FBA, whether you call yourself ADOS, B1, whatever. Vanetta Nash, thank you for that cash. Uh, the super chat. Thank you, T. Brown. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. Thank you. I appreciate you all. Thank you, thank you, thank you for hitting the like button. The Hurricane Report, man. I love their work. Please go over there, support all of their brands to keep that business going. Cash Mob, all of the businesses that you see before you. That's what this segment is about. 
the John Haley's Medical Coding Institute. You want a job from home? Here's one for you, John Haley's and Yapeth uh, Campbell. Go to their website, jhmci.com. Here's the contact number, 916-524-4380. This is a medical coding certificate, and this is a black-owned business that provides this certificate for you to work anywhere remotely in America doing medical coding. Please support, support, support jhmci.com. The contact number is 916-524-4380. Also, Bill. So. Sauce. <laughs> Schmuckatell it, gun and fire. Schmuckatell it. Come on, man. Sergeant Sauce. Man, if y'all don't cash mob this black owned business, let me tell you, man, when they first got with us, oftentimes when you guys get with us, uh, you know, maybe, you know, the reaction from the audience is, is, is overwhelming. That's what happened to Rambo. The reaction from the audience was overwhelming. He couldn't keep up with the demand That's from the song. audience. And sometimes that grows your business up. You have to learn how to ad adjust and adapt. Right. Uh, again. It's called scaling. Right. You got to scale up or scale back. You know, something has to happen. And you, you'll get that via the interaction uh, between, you know, or from the audience. And, you know, the first time they ran with us, you know, they had to scale back a little. Because mm, it was too much. It was, it was, the volume was coming mm -hmm. in too much. Well, they, I think they had good volume. I just think their costs in other areas was too much. Mm -hmm. So they had to scale back. Again, I like good problems, right? If you got high bills, but you got high income coming right. in, figure that shit out. You, can, <laughs> you got time to figure it out. Mm -hmm. But if you got high bills and no income, then it's problematic. Right. I'd rather break even with a zero, you know, high bills and high income coming in and then have to the wherewithal to figure out how exactly. to reduce the exactly. bills while maintaining the high income. You get what I'm saying? But this is a black owned business that I feel like is a solid business, has a solid brand. And it the shit is delicious. They sending us some of this hot sauce, by the way. Mm. So I'm gonna be passing out bottles of hot sauce to my friends. Gunny five. Gunny five. That schmuckatelli good. Hey, let me tell you what that schmuckatelli for, boy. That's not sandwiches. even hot. Sandwiches. Sandwiches. He said sandwiches. Cause it ain't hot. It's hot sauce without hot. So what's so the it's point? the flavor oh, oh. of the hot sauce. Okay. Without yeah. hot. Without the hot. Oh, it's delicious. Boy, you put that on some tuna fish. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you get that tuna fish and that smug and telly together. Huh? Some tuna fish. Boy, tuna fish and crackers. Is that it, boy? Come on, man. Is that, is that the lick that, boy? You sit down, watch the wheel of time, tuna fish and crackers, boy. <laughs> he said, watch the wheel of time. I'm telling man, that smug and telly. Fire, boy. Fire. Somebody said it's just sauce. It's not just I sauce. I like that schmuckatelli, man. It's just sauce. I like the sergeant <laughs> sauce. But that gunny fire, you want that heat? You want the heat. You want that heat, boy? Damn. That's it right there. Please support BealdSauce.com. As is commonplace, man, I need you guys to cash mob. Let's all do it as a collective. Let's all support these black-owned businesses. Let's keep black. Let me just say. All right, I ain't gonna say it. Let me just do this. Also go to the shroudedlighthouse.com. Purchase your copy of the Shrouded Lighthouse. I'm actually putting everything out. I'm, I, I got so much going on, man. Oh, man. The TV show is about yeah. to happen. I got a lot going on. Please support the book though. Let's, let's, let's cash mob the book and get it out of my house. So I, <laughs> so so, I can make some room for some other shit. So I can make some room for some other shit, man. Can y'all oh, cash mob the shroudedlighthouse.com? <laughs> Kev, what do you have, man? Uh, Sarah, funny as shit. <laughs> she put up the goddamn picture of mother. Yeah. Sarah, Ike. funny. <laughs>
Police Stop Law Package. Come on, y'all. Join the movement. We have a bunch of people out here learning the law. Please don't get left behind because in this new shit that's coming up, you're going to need to know that. They are trying to put the smash down on y'all. Uh, Omarion variant, you know, the you, you got served variant. Uh, the you got served variant. <laughs> you got served. They got all kind of shit waiting for you. <laughs> Bomb, 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 variant. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so crazy. Man, learning your rights, man. Seriously, this is this is the next phase of you coming up and taking your and taking your reign back. So, learning your rights. Constitutional rights card right here tells the police officers what uh, they should know when dealing with your rights at the police stop and what will happen to them if they violate your constitutional rights. Also, because they usually have qualified immunity, which is a shield that protects them from uh, violate, <coughs> excuse me, protects them when they violate your rights. This lets them know that if they violate your rights knowingly, then they lose that they lose that qualified immunity. That's a Supreme Court case. Uh, it's right, uh, it's in it's in full force right now. Right here is the book, Const uh, Know Your Rights Manual. This tells you everything that you need to know. This has everything in here. That the card. It says everything that the card that's on the card, everything that's in here, right here. Is, this is the uh, flashcards. We have two decks of flashcards. This is what you want to sit with your kids, about 30 minutes a day. Then we also have the vaccine. This is a religious exempt vaccine exemption card. So we just came out with these. So I know a lot of people have been hitting me up about this, and this is this is basically for if you go into uh, any type of business that uh, you know the federal the, uh, with Biden he just implemented. The, uh, the vaccine mandate. So if you don't know, in one circuit, the fifth circuit, it got ruled down. In the sixth circuit, it just got, it just got passed. So, mm. you know. In There's just cases, no uniformity. You don't know fifth, one court to be know, like, no, and another court well, be like, yeah. Well, what happened was, well, three courts down it. So it actually, the Supreme Court in the, uh, you know, or the appeals court in the sixth circuit, they, they basically pushed it through. Mm. But for that to happen, that means the lower court had to, had to down it first too. So, right. The courts are seeing that this book this is bullshit. So but, why would one court, if the courts are seeing that it's bullshit, why would one court be because, lone maverick policy, to say? Because some courts are political. So, that's so what Biden goes to one court and says, man, I need a win here. You know, boom, boom, boom. And then he gets in there. So, you know, that's Sixth Circuit is like Ohio, Kentucky, I think Michigan, all of those. Sorry, that's crazy. sorry, yeah, all y'all. But right here, vaccine religious exemption card. You take this and you show it to a... Uh, a, a person who owns a business, this lets them know that they're personally liable for implementing those, va those mandates. Those mandates are not law. And if they enforce those mandates, you can personally sue them. They're, they're liable in their personal, personal capacity. So this vaccine mandate card lets them know that. So, and then- Bobby wants to ask you a question. Yeah. yeah. Now, you wear that around your neck or what? what? Yeah, it's a land. You can have it. I just have I'm it. I'm about just to so run you, out yeah. the motherfucking room <laughs> right now. <laughs> <laughs> right. You can't. Yeah. 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 You don't want to lose the shit, you damn right. It comes with some shit so you don't lose it. That's Come with some shit so you don't lose it. Or you hang it from, you can hang it from your... So if you go to the Staples Center, for example, you got tickets to the game. You got tickets to the... They may not let you in. But you had, this is this is the whole point. This is you have to you have to start fighting with this. Some people may not let you in and just and, then and file and a lawsuit and against follow you. Law, you have yeah. to follow you file a lawsuit. But the lawsuit is you can file a lawsuit. This uh, the laws that that prevent them from them using mandates is it's all across the board. It's constitutional. And that's why these courts have ruled it down. They said, "Do your your mandate to Biden. They do your mandate is grossly is is a gross negligence of the constitution. What are you doing? You can't do shit like this." So that shows that the courts are, are mostly, <laughs> except this last court, court, the courts are mostly on the Constitution side. Where do you get those from? I made them. Oh, so you, yeah, you get them from How the, much are they? So they come with the package. So oh. you go, yeah, they come with the whole package. This is the, this book right here is the uh, public official bonds book. This is, uh, you know, every police officer has insurance. Bob well, said, let me see. <laughs> right this shit at? Yeah, well, <laughs> oh, I, I got you, Bobby, don't worry. But yeah, this is the bond book. So every police officer got a bond. <laughs> And, or police insurance, and if you, uh, you place a claim on that bond, they can't work that day. That's how you get back at hey, police say, officers, not filing lawsuits. Hey, get him. What up? <laughs> where, where are you finding that at? Uh, well, I got to let him. I got to let him. Don't worry about it. Let's leave it to you on the that's, table, my nigga. That's what Bobby. <laughs> hey. <laughs> where can you get that at? Huh? <laughs> 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 You can get all of this shit yeah, at knowyourrightsfoundation.org. Uh, 
the real the real noggins.com website paypal messed up the coding on the on the buttons somehow so they're fixing you got to fix that it'll be up in a couple days but for this package right now and the vaccine cards you can get this today at knowyourrightsfoundation.org and you can also donate and, and volunteer to help get this movement going so sign up and then we juice what you got for us, man? You giving Bobby some of that juice? You know Bobby loves these natural juices, don't you, Bobby? Of course, Bobby, Bobby gets to have whatever he wants, huh? That's, that's what I'm saying. We respect the elder over here. Give Bobby whatever he want. He want one of these little black mambas. He don't like Kobe, though. He, he got, want one of these little black mambas. One of the black mambas. All right, so when it comes to your health, it's always about vitamin orange chicken. You know what I'm saying? Vitamin orange chicken is a euphemism for one of the vitamins that starts with the letter after B, because you can't say that shit on YouTube. No, which or they is, which will is strike the channel. Which is so, crazy. So vitamin for you know vitamin the letter after B, we call orange chicken. chicken. One of the first things you have, <laughs> one of the first things you have in the morning is orange chicken. You know orange chicken, the vitamin orange chicken, the first thing, not the, the literal orange chicken, but. You should have that first thing to get your immune system up, you know? So you do like the Asian girls, don't you, boy? Oh, well, I wouldn't talk about orange chicken like that. That's called <laughs> Shanghai chicken. <laughs> Shanghai chicken, okay, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> so, it's about getting your vitamins up. Mm. Gut health, everybody knows about celery. It's about healthy, having a healthy life, so healing the healthy. Okay, so get your oh, gut health up. Turmeric is good for anti-inflammatory. Um, I hope the juice of the day is actually apple zang. Apple with cucumber and ginger and mint. So it's like that. This nigga turned into an infomercial. He even turned into an infomercial right now. Ginger and mint. So you got ad libs and shit. If you're looking so. for a simple juice, a basic green juice, and you're a first time shopper to Wee Juice, apple zang is a very good green juice. Basic apple, cucumber. Cucumber is good for detoxing. So, and the ginger is also good. Man, make sure good. Bobby have his, whatever juice he wants. Here man. you go. Thank you for his, your Why support. Why you hand him the one you wanted him to have? <laughs> <laughs> I gave him the one you wanted him to have. <laughs> okay. Bobby, Continue to, say, to support Weed Juice. The end of the year is coming up. We're going to make some New Year's resolutions. Obviously, getting your health up. Heal. I want to heal 100 people for the New Year's. Heal the support Weed Juice. Thank you. Enter the Zoewood code when you visit our website. There we go. And Bobby, what you got? I know you got something. What I got <laughs> is a, a true story. Um, about three weeks ago, I went to see my roots doctor uh -oh. and ran into what? Your who? my roots doctor. Oh. Roots. <laughs> you heard what he said? Roots. Roots. Everything you do, everything to you. Everything you do. Okay. His name is Russell Harrison. And I ran into the gentleman to my immediate right. At the root doctor's office. And you was at the root doctor's office? Mm -hmm. See. You get some roots taking over you? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody buried your drawers in the yard, nigga? It was a beautiful thing <laughs> because to see brothers that are on the same naturopathic path, yeah. because they, they exchange, you know, roots. Right. All right. Mm -hmm. They exchange the roots. And it's a beautiful thing to see my brother here um, at, at uh, Dr. Russell's office. Um, counterpunch. With Victor Ortiz Come and Bobby on, Glanton Come Smith, on, we pushing that. Right. we'll be yeah. out here uh, for public uh, consumption Victor starting Ortiz? next month. And hey, uh, you have Victor so, Ortiz on the show. And bro. we're excited about being able to uh, cover fights, but not only cover <coughs> fights, but to let people know entertainers are first and foremost human beings, mm -hmm. and the things that they deal with can be cautionary tales for the rest of us. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we're gonna dig much deeper than what happens in the ring. We're gonna you know, share with you some of the things that people have to go through in order to, to get in that little old, uh, tube that we watch them on. Uh, also, I'd like to share with uh, the general population that I'm uh, excited for a fighter that I uh, have association with in Minneapolis, Minnesota by the name of David Morrell Jr who won, uh, who retained his WBA super middleweight uh, uh, belt Saturday night at the Armory in Minneapolis. Mm -hmm. And um, he's, he's, headed, he's headed for, uh, what's that boy's name, Canelo? Canelo. Canelo. He got something for Canelo. But right. Canelo leaving. He leaving. No, he gonna, he gonna leave flat on his back. I'm saying Canelo is leaving 
the the weight class he's in to go up, so he ain't we're got gonna, to worry. We're gonna chase him. We're gonna chase him. We're gonna chase him. We're gonna chase him. That's where the money is. Bobby right? said we're gonna chase him. Yeah. Hey. Shout out to the Circle of Discipline, which is the organization that spawned David Morrell Jr., who came from Cuba three years ago, mm-hmm. and that says a lot about him because Havana to Minneapolis, yeah, that's, and you that's train in outdoors. Yeah, that's a long. That lets you know the difference they have made in his career. Mm-hmm. And uh, shout out to Jamal Shango James, uh, the former interim uh, welterweight champion of the world who will be returning to the ring early um, uh, 2022. And uh, we got a stable of young cats over there. When I say we, those are my people, you mm-hmm. know. And ironically, uh, Wendell Stimley, uh, the president of the National Association of Minority Contractors, was in Minneapolis because they haven't – uh, made good on a lot of the promises they made to the, to the inner city of Minneapolis following of, the uh, yeah. George Floyd, Floyd situation. Yeah. And uh, <clears throat> Willard and I are going to be bringing some ideas and, and, and concepts and opportunities to African American people who are looking for a way to make a living wage Come on, man. in the construction industry. Yeah. So, Come on, man. And uh, well, as you do, real men don't play. Y'all know about that. Real men don't play. You so let's go to work. Yeah. Come on, Bobby, where they get the book? They can get it on Amazon or they can get it from me. Uh, Bobby at realmendon'tplay.com. If you get it from Bobby. I'm gonna get a bigger piece of my own pie. You yeah. understand? <laughs> get it from Bobby if you can. Right. Yeah, cause that was Bobby online. makes more money if yeah. his hand to hand. Yeah, cause <laughs> if, if you go through uh, Amazon, boy, they, oof. They get you, they get you kibbles and bits. Oh, they <laughs> rob and bits. Amazon get, yeah, really? hey, if you find, look, look, I'm gonna talk to you about this, cause you know I told you I hooked up with Dave. Yeah, I, saw, I, was, Dave, I, was, just, I was kicking with Dave. Was Bates? Yeah, the, the F chef, yeah. You saw him? He was at the house. He was chilling. He came through. Yeah. All right, cool. Because I told him he was on the show. Yeah, we were chilling. Chillin'. <clears throat> I'm just telling you, Nate. Dave got some shit going yeah. on. Oh, yeah, we, yeah, we were chilling, man. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Yeah. One, one final thing. <laughs> yeah. Kudos to Brother Zoe Williams. Uh, he has really become the North Star. If you're looking to, a way to creatively raise kids that you are not formally uh, married Right. to the mother of the church. Right. And his boys are coming on and shout out to uh, New right. Williams who New. tore <coughs> New. the Dominican Republic up. 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 New, right. New, up. New and we not gonna stop till you see him on the, the major platform in professional basketball, which is the NBA. That's right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man, and, I, and no, I didn't marry the mamas, but, uh, I stayed with the kids. Absolutely. And I made sure that the kids had me, Mm -hmm. you know, because I didn't have my dad. So I made sure that that was, hey, I got to be there. And I sacrificed a lot to be there. You know, I had other situations and love interests and all kind of shit. But I said all that to the side, I got to be on post. Mm -hmm. And especially, I recognize, man, like, when I look back at shit, I'd be like, boy, if you wasn't there when New <laughs> got to fucking Santa Monica High. Mm. I mean, because a lot of the shit, and that's what dads do, it's orchestrate. You know, it's block. You know, block shit that's right. coming. Man, New was supposed to go to Inglewood High. Mm. He couldn't, I don't think he would have gone as far if he would have went to Inglewood mm. High. He still would have been a star. He still would have been a, a star player in the city. Mm. But I don't think he would have got the opportunities like Brown University, Colum- Columbia was his first offer. Mm. And they wasn't coming to Inglewood. Mm. I'm not saying that you know certain kids over there don't get the the you know the Harvard looks and all of that mm-hmm. shit. Right. Well, they don't. And, but for the most part, they don't. Yeah, let's just call it. And then you. that API, that school API, that's the same shit as your zip code. <laughs> See, when you look at credit scores, it's all predicated on zip codes. You can have 780, me, but if your zip code is is 90302, (laughs) oh, that's Inglewood. Fuck that. that, That's like a 640. (laughs) You know where you at, nigga? But you get what I'm saying? If your zip code, if you got a 770 and your zip code is 90210? Mm-hmm. 
Okay. One of them Pasadena zip codes. Give me a good Pasadena zip code. Nine, nine zero three. What? Nine one one oh three. Nine one one oh three. They oh that nigga over there. Mm. Same thing applies to school API and their accumulated uh, academic numbers. And oftentimes, fucking inner city schools get dinged for lack of resources. It's not that there's poor academics, but sometimes finances. Nigga, if I'm not eating, yep. fuck, I'm not gonna be paying attention right. to uh, <laughs> trigonometry. Nigga, that's trigonometry. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, I need a sandwich. So, you get what I'm saying? I, and, and man, I tried to guide New in the way that I felt, you know, was most beneficial to him. He was supposed to go to St. Bernard's. St. Bernard's yep. is a good school. Yep. Private school, Catholic, all that shit, man. But, the coach was acting funny style. And this is the coach, same coach who coached Russell Westbrook in high school at Losinger. Brother named Reggie. But Reggie was looking, he was so enamored with the bigs that came with New from that AAU program. Them bigs ain't, no disrespect to them young men. They ain't nowhere. <laughs> they they kind of panned out. They nowhere. And no disrespect, like I said, those kids worked hard because they were there with New. But I noticed that coach is not paying. This is what dads do. I, you're not giving enough attention, you know what I'm saying, to this young kid right here who might have a higher ceiling than the big guys. Mm -hmm. Next thing you know, I say, hey, man, we, we leaving. I had just worked a deal with the private school because I'm not going to pay no private school money. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you don't know. Dude, we'll give you about $37 a month. Mm. Well, it costs $2,000 a month. Well, this is a transcendent talent right here. We need $37.50. That's my best dog. <laughs> no, but we worked out a deal or whatever, and they was like, all right, he, he can come here. We was about to enroll him. But I noticed the coach just wasn't locked in. And then somebody called me and said, hey, man, Santa Monica High will take him. I was like, Santa Monica, I, I don't know. Did a little research. I was like, oh, Division One. Mm -hmm. Okay, got some motherfuckers on there already. We went over there. And, you know, I mean, my kid. Did, he Baron, made, Davis, did Baron Davis go there? No. No, Baron Ga Davis went to uh, the Crozier. Major. Cross, Cross, Cross Roads. Roads. Yeah. Crossroads in Santa Monica. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm thinking of the other white boy that went. To Crossroads, Crozier. Crozier, uh, Austin, Austin, Austin Crozier, Crozier, Austin yeah. Crozier, yeah. Yeah, man, so sometimes just being a dad just means be present and, and try to make something happen. So I connected my son with, and let me give you this blueprint. I connected my son with Bobby. The fuck was Bobby doing at the motherfucking workout with St. John's? at Santa Monica High. I'm sitting there talking to Steve laughing. Yeah, you know, the kid is special. You know, he's a left-hander, you know, very explosive. We look up this nigga Bobby tackling new on the court. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is Bobby doing out I here? I said, what the fuck <laughs> is happening? It was a teachable moment. Bobby literally tackled the kid. And so I, I didn't say he nothing. He said it was a teachable moment. <laughs> He said, Boy, I had to learn, man. Yeah. Like, nigga, don't be fucking around, nigga. I was just like, man, what the fuck? Man? Yeah. But I know Bobby, so I said, okay, whatever's happening, Bobby, he going he to make good on it. Right. I'm going to keep talking to him. So, he was like, what's going on? I said, no, oh, that's, that's his uncle. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you a little Right. So the next thing you know, this motherfucker knew drive by Bobby and dunk on him. Bang! I said, <laughs> I said, this shit is abuse. Yeah, what right, is it? Right, right. One nigga tackling a nigga, you dunking on old people? What's that? I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> dunking on old people. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the shit was hilarious. But, you know, Bobby has been instrumental in a lot of things concerning you. you we know? ain't done yet. We ain't no, done. We not done. We ain't done. No, Sometimes done being a father is, is like... You, it's not just what's in your wallet, it's what's in your circle. Right. You see what I'm yeah, saying? Yep. That's what daddies do, man. Yeah. It's what's in your circle. Kind of strong, ain't it, Bobby? Uh, like kinda, I like it, like I like it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's what's in your circle. Bobby was in my circle and brought new into his circle, and that you know proliferated into right. bigger and better things. 
with my youngest son, he rapping now. I used to rap. And so I see this motherfucker rapping, I'm just laughing, nigga. Because he, he got like a weird ass voice like I had. <laughs> <laughs> and he raps like he's in the 90s. Not easy. Naeem is rapping <laughs> like he's in the 90s. So what does he do? He called me and said, hey, dad, uh, I need a manager. So what do I do? I call my manager and say, remember my son, Josiah? And he was like, yeah, yeah, I like that kid. He dope. This guy works at SoundCloud. I said, he needs a manager. So we at the cigar lounge together. And uh, I called Naeem. I said, hey, man, did you reach out to Chris? He was like, yeah, dad, I, I left him uh, a DM. I was like, that's not how you reach out to no. people. What, he, what he, the fuck is she doing? <laughs> no. Well, dad, I mean, no. He, he, then he got me. He was like, but you didn't give me his number. <laughs> but I would have had I had his number. Fortunately, Chris was right there. I said, hey man, he right here, nigga. Now you shut the fuck up, take notes. I give Chris the phone and Chris is like, all right, man, this is what we're gonna do. And they talk and then they exchange numbers and then they talk the next day. Then my son called me back and was like, I gotta do this, I gotta do that, I gotta do this, and then I gotta do that. I said, and that's fathering. That's a resource that has nothing to right. do with my wallet. That's a relational right. resource. Right. You get what I'm saying? My daughter, getting ready to graduate. These all sages, getting ready to graduate, man. And that's crazy, man. You got three sages. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> that's and, insane. You know, shit. Same all, with her. All your opposites. <laughs> she's she's studying uh, theater. She's studying to be a thespian. Right? Thespian. Thespian. And she said the same thing. Hey, um, I need, you know, I, I need an agent. So I call Marcus's wife. She's okay. Or ex-wife. I'll give me a say. Jamie King. I said, Jamie, I need you to mentor Prima. I said, all right, I got her. Okay. So again, Sometimes, man, giving. Who was that? Who was that? <laughs> that was Zendaya. Oh. Who was, who was what? Zendaya. Oh. That ain't Prima. I know it's Zendaya. <laughs> who is Zendaya? Girls, Spider-Man. Spider-Man. She had her own series. Hey, Bobby. Spider-Man. <laughs> hey, hey, listen. Spider-Man. You guys didn't see who, it. Who the way I, is, he's like, who's the Zendaya? The look of wonderment <laughs> in Bobby's eyes. <laughs> 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 Bobby's eyes. Look of wonderment. He said, who is Zendaya? Who is Zendaya? Who is Zendaya? Who is Zendaya? Cross your legs. Well, get your hey, put the back up. Right. Who's in there? 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 Who's in Seasoned man. <laughs> Who's in there? We can't jump, but we can <laughs> hump. <laughs> Who's in there? You hear Bobby? We can't <laughs> jump, but we can <laughs> hump. <laughs> Who that girl right there? Who that girl? Huh? <laughs> so let me tell you what's going on. We was talking about this before the show came on. Man finds Apple AirTag tracker on his Dodge Charger. So what's happening is car thieves have now integrated some of Apple's technology. This technology was created to find your keys <laughs> or your phone. But now what these dudes is doing is buying these trackers and slapping them on people's car and, then finding and tracking them back to, the crib. back to the crib. For a Dodge Charger. Hey man, do you know inflation oh, wow. has changed the used car market? <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. Wow. A used car, a particular used car might say it's an Audi A3. That might get you twenty something thousand dollars back in the day. That shit is up to twenty six grand yeah. right now. <clears throat> and that's the lower end yeah. Audis. That's like the, yeah, the microchips for the new cars they're they, they can't get them. They can't get the microchips. Because they right. offshore yep. because of the COVID shit. Yep. <laughs> so the inflation is crazy. Hmm. 
So now that used car market done shot through the roof. Yeah. So yeah, you can get good money for a motherfucking Dodge Charger. Mm -hmm. 2014. Is that a with or without the muffler? <laughs> 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 this one got kind of quiet since them PP P chicks dried up. <laughs> I'm telling you, I, I, nigga, what the hell? <laughs> this nigga coughing like a uh, nut butter. <laughs> <laughs> he got nut butter caught in his throat. <laughs> you know what? Let me tell y'all. Fuck y'all. <laughs> since y'all. Now hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. Let me eat that bullshit. We ain't got no gas mask. <laughs> we don't have no mask for you. But we were talking about this earlier. When we were saying the streets is hot everywhere. Man, yeah. mm. Now, Kevin was of the mindset that brothers ain't jacking brothers, they jacking others. They jacking others. That's all I've seen. I've and seen Bobby is here, saying, hey, other than rich, other than rich, 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 other than rich brothers, melanated people. No, but just they, regular cats on the street. I ain't seen no regular, regular brothers on the street. They, 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 niggas know you ain't got shit. <laughs> Jack, you, you ain't got shit. Man. Somebody <laughs> said they're putting air tags on high-end cars to do home invasions. That's what's yeah. really up. Yeah. 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 yeah that's what, that's what's really up. But, <laughs> nigga, nigga, that's what I'm saying. They ain't doing home invasions on niggas. Niggas, what, you, you gonna track this nigga to Compton? <laughs> and they doing that too. <laughs> that nigga living down, ain't got no money now. That nigga. No, that's how, they, that's, after they started true. smashing and grabbing in Beverly Hills, they put up uh, those uh, cameras. Oh. And, and they take you, you, the photo of your car when you come in. There. But see, that's how they caught that, that one guy. Yeah. See? see, this is what they don't understand about Beverly Hills, Bel Air. All that shit is surveilled. Mm -hmm. For real, for real. Yeah. Like, yeah. they 3,600 cameras is like, oh, here this nigga is. Uh, yeah. Right. <laughs> Motherfucker made a left right here, right, stopped right, over here at yeah. the gas station. Right. They got all that shit they locked in. real over, over there. Yeah. They'll track you right on back to the hood. Yep. Right all the way to yep. the crib. It's a real situation, <laughs> man. Mm -hmm. what, what she put Good up? Kanye. I mean, I'm. <laughs> Thieves target drivers with app with Apple AirTag tile trackers. Wow. A auto, a local auto theft task force tells Fox Two, uh, there seems to be more cases in Metro Detroit. And I know this shit happening everywhere. They're talking yeah. about Austin, Texas, <clears throat> definitely. And they said uh, Canada's Ontario province, but I know this shit happening in LA. You can believe that. <laughs> you can believe that. Indeed, uh. Where is the thirst coming from? Where is the hunger coming from? Is it different because it's COVID? Is it different because of the time we live in? Where, where is all this shit coming from? One thing that's not being discussed enough is the impact of automation. Um, Talk to me about that, Bob. My cousin just got back from Chicago and he wanted to order some food outside of the uh, uh, hotel mm. for various reasons. Mm. And um, the food was brought to his room by a robot. A robot? Oh, a robot. So now that goes yep. back to Industry 4.0, where all of the blue collar, or blue collar jobs and all of that stuff is out the door being gone. automated. Yeah. Yeah. We yeah. talked about that before. Yeah. And that's a real situation. Well, it used to be 1,500 people working in a plant. Now there's 150. Mm. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> the only places that have not been tremendously affected at this point is agribusiness and the construction industry because mm. the finite school skills that it takes to construct a building has to deal with the imperfections of topography. So you, you can't put a robot out here and get those specs right where you want them, sure. et cetera, et cetera. We're probably another 20, 25 years away from replacing that labor force, the skilled labor force, right? Yeah. Or what they call soft skills. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and the rest of it is just, you know, man strength and stubbornness because it's, it's very difficult work. <laughs> man strength and stubbornness. Yeah, because you got to go out there and get it done. We talked about, yeah, the, the robot janitors. They got robot janitors cleaning up bathrooms now. Yeah. So they, <clears throat> they don't need regular people. But I think it's the pandemic, the pandeasy, 
you know, uh, just the side effects of the pandemic, brothers being locked on lockdown for so long, you know, psychological effects and just being on lockdown for so long, being away from society disconnects you from people. And you disconnected from people, you, how, how much, you know, remorse and, and empathy do you have for people after, you know, after being away from somebody that long? And also social distancing. You know? That's very interesting. <clears throat> That's a very interesting take. You said because of lockdowns, motherfuckers done lost a piece of humanity. Exactly. And so when they come back into the company of other human beings, these motherfuckers is animal-like. Some animal shit. That's well, interesting. You know, and you add to that the anxiety yes. of right. uncertainty. Yes. Because Lots of all, all the jobs. I'm watching people for a, a, a car lift will risk their lives. Right. Literally. Yeah. Right. I mean, they'll do some of the wildest. I mean, every day, mm -hmm. you just got to kind of yeah, take drive, a deep breath, drive. man. Just say, like, you ain't yeah, I just see that person. Yeah. And you'll see them at the next light. And they don't yeah. down. You just did all this crazy shit. Yeah. 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 Just to get to this like at the same yeah. time I did. Drive, yeah. me, me driving a regular pace. No, I just yeah. think people are very, uh, and, 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 like what's crazy is, people are very selfish mm -hmm. on their own. Yes. Right? Just on, just, just being yeah, on GP. Just on just GP. On GP. But then when you factor in ageism, racism, sexism, classism, yep. you factor in all, all of the these isms. isms, and then on top of those isms, you throw in pandemicism. Yeah, pandisms. Yeah, pandisms, <laughs> yeah. right? Motherfucker can act, can like be really crazy yeah. out here. Yeah. And then, the, like, we go, with the loss of all the jobs, man, if you, they're not really showing you the impact of what the lockdowns did and all the businesses that had to shut down around the world, especially in America. Mm. I mean, the abandoned businesses that, you know, 50 some percent of them not never coming back. All these people had to lose those jobs behind that. And so when you create a, a you know, a hole like that, Within within these communities, they right. like nigga, it's it's on and popping, nigga. Right. <laughs> That's the mentality it is. Like, nigga, sure, what's go ahead. Go ahead. And so it it almost re uh, reminds me of insta uh, when people are institutionalized, like when you get yeah. locked down for a period of time. Yeah. And yeah. then when you try yep. to enter back into society, so, right? A lot of people <laughs> get to the point where they just want to go back in because you have people that really have not gone back out again. No, like that's they, interesting. They that you can you can apply that not just institutionalized in prison, mm -hmm. but also military, military. Yeah, when yeah. they've come back from war. Yeah. You know, it's PTSD. hard for them to integrate back PTSD. into society. Yeah. yeah, pandemic PTSD. Pandemic I mean. PTSD. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> that's what niggas got right now. Pandemic. PTSD. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, man, yeah. and it's making people crazy to crazy the motherfucker. According to Forbes.com, U.S., this is Forbes.com, October 27, 2020, U.S. economy lost over 60 million jobs mm -hmm. to robots, tech, mm. and artificial intelligence. Will take millions more. Uh, someone in the chat room said that they went to a restaurant in Dallas where every, all the waiters were robots. I believe it. Ooh, Bobby? Wow. And the tip wow. is automated, so you ain't got to, you ain't got a tip is in the bill. Um, the thing that, that people should be most concerned about right now is what do we do without a functional government? Because anybody thinks that this is going to get any better anytime right. soon, right. based on Washington yes. directive, nope. is out of their mind. Nope. We have to localize. You know, don't like the government just like they don't like the doctor. You see, but they but they tend to believe. <laughs> right. No, you better start particularly like our folks, it's two people, true. our people, black folks, uh, revere, and that is Dr. Foster, and and, 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 and Reverend Trimble. Oh, Fauci. See, they can they can tell us you know anything, and we'll go for it. Right. But the problem is, that's not going. You're not going to be able to look to the heavens and get any groceries. Right. <laughs> and, and it's going to take local initiatives. Right. Like one that I'm, I'm, I'm working feverishly with people around the country on, and that is to create answers to the food desert. My brother Adonijah and I, we, we Adonijah, Adonijah, we, we meet in several times. You know Adonijah we, too. See, he's the closest thing to George Washington Carver, man, that we got. Yeah, I'm right. with Adonijah. And, Adonijah. And, and, and we're going to have to begin to create networks of food sources locally. Mm -hmm. 
Right. And I don't want to hear, I ain't got enough land. You don't need a whole lot of land. You just need the knowledge. No, you're right. Yeah. You don't need a you whole see, lot of land. Because you, you can grow, grow some peppers on, on the food. fucking patio. All right. <laughs> Which is very, very important because the thing that has been compromised that is threatening your life the most is your immune system. This is fortification. What well, Adonis I do, doctor, there's several naturopathic doctors, and not just my Dr. Russell, all right, even though he's been doing it for 50 years, mm -hmm. all right, and the brother's in tip-top shape, and he's a hell of a guy. But uh -huh. most importantly, we have to begin to lean on the folks that know how to protect the body against disease. Right. Now, whether you take the shot or not is secondary <clears throat> to the ailments that you have that are going to kill you faster than the disease that they talk about all the time. Right. Because at the end of the day, what your body can defend against predicates the quality of your life. Exactly. They, they keep saying, well, if you, if you do certain things, you'll at least live. But what's, what's the quality of right. your life? If you can't get off the couch, exactly. but to do anything but go. And people forget. And take a, uh, the Bible with you to the bathroom, because you'll finish the Bible before you get a. A Bible movement. Some people don't have bowel movements for, for a whole week. Yeah. What? That's it. Yeah, absolutely. Some people don't have bowel movements for a whole week, man. That's insane. Do you know what type of cheddar cheese <laughs> packed up in your shit? <laughs> <laughs> you know what type of rock hard pasta noodles you yeah. got? <laughs> God damn! Roadblock that you got in your shit? Yeah, man, very hard. It takes trying to have a bomb. Yes. Man. Yes, no, Ane real. aneurysms. Yeah, man, yeah. aneurysms. Yeah. They bring blood vessels, blood vessels busted in the brain from trying drink. to have a, have a shit. Surprisingly sweet grapefruit cantaloupe pear <laughs> 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 might have a full blowout on that toilet. <laughs> <laughs> One of the most amazing things <laughs> is in terms of giving the propaganda to the proper gooses. People oh. begin to look at. The, the mathematics. Another Bobby saying. <laughs> proper to what? The, the propaganda, propaganda to the, to the, the proper, proper gooses. gooses. Yeah. <laughs> you, you can talk a person out of their own self interest. That's true. Easily. Yeah. But the point I'm making is people will tell me, it cost, man, you pay, because I spend about 300 bucks a month on, on, on herbs, right? Man, you spend $300 a month. I said, man, I'd rather spend 300 than 300000 by uh, right. a, a, a week in the hospital. Right. That's all it takes to no. wipe out everything you've ever wiped for. It all out is a week in the hospital. They be like, "You ain't got no more money. We not finished with the procedure." Right? <laughs> that ain't yep. got nothing to do <laughs> with you getting ready to get packed up yep. and booted out of here because that's you right. didn't hit the maximum. People think because they got a million dollar insurance policy, that's a lot of money. It's no, it's shit. not, man. No. They can run through a million dollars, you know, in two weeks. We got three more tests to do. That'll be two million. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? I was yeah. in, I was in uh, the Cedar Sinai emergency room, nigga, for two hours. They gave me two Advil, basically. It was ibuprofen, nigga. They charged me twenty five hundred dollars. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> what? No. Nigga, for two ibuprofen. Hey, <laughs> the $2,500. Watch this, Kev. Let, let me show you some other <laughs> fuck shit. I was 23 years old. I had just got the job at Maverick Records. Two years ago. I was 23. We're two years ago. Awesome. What the fuck? Anyway. <laughs> I'm with my big bro, and all of a sudden I get this urge to just throw up. So I lean out the window and throw up. Right. And then the pain came. Nigga, it was the worst pain <laughs> I had ever felt food in my entire fucking life. No, it wasn't food poisoning, nigga. Mm. When I tell you, I told my brother, man, you gotta take me to the doctor, nigga. Now this is right before my medical insurance kicks in for oh. Maverick. I said, man, you gotta take me to the doctor. The mm. nigga took me to the doctor. I'm on the waiting room floor. Dying, nigga. <laughs> nigga. I'm on the floor, nigga, spinning around in a circle like a crazy dog, nigga. <laughs> Come to find out, they found out it was a kidney stone. Mm. Oh my God, them motherfuckers ain't no joke. Mm. Because your ass be drinking juices. This is when I was 23, <laughs> nigga. This is over fucking two decades ago. Uh -huh. But anyway, no, my brother didn't take me to the doctor. He took me home. And 
I, my mother called the paramedics, the paramedics, and then they came, and I had a paramedic ride and mm-hmm. fucking and nigga. Ride. Do you know they charged me for the paramedic? Oh yeah, for oh, the ride. Yes, oh nigga, yep. they charged fifteen hundred dollars. Yes, this is in the nineties. Yes, so that's a five thousand. Yes, right now I said, what the fuck? Yes, and all they did once they diagnosed it, they you know did the little. The MRI, MRI and they mm-hmm. checked it out and was like, oh, it's little, nigga. You piss yes. that shit out. It's going to hurt, but piss it out. The ride. And it's drink yeah. some lemon and some olive oil. And break it down a little bit. Break it down. Mm-hmm. You're going to be fine, man. And they, all they did was give me some medication See? for the pain. That's it. And they said, here, with this little screen, How much? piss. How much? And you'll see the little fragments <laughs> of the shit. I said, what the fuck? How much? The ride was 1500 how much did they charge you when you got to the spot, though? <laughs> For the little motherfucking medicine, back then it wasn't that much. Okay. It was the medicine was like two hundred dollars. Okay. But the ride, the ride was fifteen. Yeah. Was fifteen hundred. Nigga, I had food poisoning, and the paramedics told me how much it was gonna be for the ride. I told them to go home. I, 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 I stuffed it out on the couch. <laughs> All right, nigga. <laughs> I curled up on hey, the nigga, couch. Hey, nigga, I'm gonna throw up on the floor. Right, we good? <laughs> they told me what the ride was. I said, Nah, I'm straight. <laughs> Right. But along the same economic uh, lines, we've got to, now that you mentioned that figure of 60 million jobs gone, America is going to have to make some really interesting decisions about the waste, the human waste. Yeah. And I'm not talking about a bowel movement, the human waste. Right. Because there's that many, at least 30 million people that are unemployable just based on their skills mm-hmm. and the demand for certain uh, occupations. Right. We're going to have to go ahead and <clears throat> pay people to stay at home. Oh, what, that's, what? That's, w, uh, that's universal basic income. Yeah. All of the billionaires have already proposed this because they're saying, you know, in two, three years, we're going to be at the 10 billion person threshold on planet Earth. Right. But you know, the problem right now, actually, though, after the pandemic, is there are actually more jobs. Nobody to fill the jobs. That's what happened with that's what happened at the docks. Right. <laughs> that's why that's why the, the products are so late getting in. Not that there are, you know, you nobody know, is there. Right. There's but nobody will do it. Nobody will take the jobs to go take the shit off the goddamn boat. Yeah, because, because <laughs> no, there's plenty of the people that take that's those jobs. That's an they, they were hiring, they hiring, they were hiring like crazy down there. They, I mean, they were giving up. Yeah. The shit they down, were down on the docks yeah, because no, they, yeah, they were trying to. They, but, <laughs> but I think don't have the factor people. why motherfuckers ain't going down there is because there's really no rules, basically. Yeah. Nigga, are we in danger? You can die. What are we <laughs> unpacking? <laughs> what are the COVID parameters? Like, yeah, it, when motherfuckers is giving away, hey, come on down here, we get everything you need. <laughs> <laughs> But niggas, no, they, are, they are giving away money for yeah, these but jobs. What right are now. they? What are you gonna get from what they get? <laughs> See, you some people are smart about it. Put a mask on and unload these goddamn fucking crates, nigga. And if you don't know crates, if, if, if there are no safety regulations, because like I said, if this shit varies from fucking state to state, from port to port. Mm-hmm. What the fuck am I getting into <laughs> for the Christmas money? <laughs> now it's good but, Christmas money, but nigga, what I got to give right. to get it? But that was that, that's just one example. There, there's, I mean, multiple businesses they just can't find people to work for them because people found in the pandemic. Oh, wait a minute, I can chill Damn. and work at home. That's and, one way, and yeah. not motherfucking be stressed the fuck out yeah. and make a game, still make money. What, nigga, what the fuck am I going wait. to this job for? <laughs> and, and, and let's, can't let's let's clean that up just to taste. Motherfuckers think they can just be at home making a gang of money. <laughs> Nigga, you better have a great idea. Right. <laughs> don't don't come exactly. up here with a uh, soap matchbox. <laughs> like, you know, I got a new line of matchsticks. Nigga, that's made of soap. No, no. <laughs> like, you know, gotta have a great idea, and you can bring that shit home. Go ahead. The numbers aren't really working out because there's a generation that they call the baby boomers. Many of them were successful because of the stock market investments and those kinds of things, and they retired early in the millions, all right? Mm-hmm. So they pretty much straight. Yep. Right. Yep. Those same baby boomers had less kids. Yeah. All right? And the kid that they produce is staying with them mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. into their 40s. Yeah. 
They so, ain't waiting till the motherfuckers die. die. Yeah. That's what's happening with that population. Come on, man. boomer ass nigga. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, <laughs> kick it on, <laughs> kick it on <laughs> over, nigga. So what's going on? There's a, there's a multitude of issues. And this none of them well into his head. <laughs> right. Ninety-seven. <laughs> God damn, damn nigga. <laughs> like Stan Lee. That, yeah. That's like Stan Lee's daughter. Stan Lee died, you know, late on a late late eighties, whatever. But his daughter was waiting for him to kick over, and he he had to create a restraining order for his daughter. <laughs> <laughs> she kept trying to get this nigga money. <laughs> like bitch, I ain't through this. Like, she was like, nigga, you ain't dead yet, nigga. I'm about to be in Black Panther next week. You ask for money now. What the fuck? So it's it's really uh, time for us to take off the dust cap mm-hmm. and, and and turn internally for the solutions to problems because we got enough problems to create enough new businesses to enrich another generation, if it's gonna be possible. And, and not to mention the fact that the consumption of fossil fuel right. has, I don't care if you rich or poor, them tornadoes, they, yeah. they, not, they not discriminate. And they, they, they dipping in land and wherever they want to go. Like I know, that fossil fuel shit, them motherfuckers is going to squeeze that orange till ain't <laughs> one drop of oil left. Yep. Well, here's, here's the challenge that they have. And, and the way that they've countered that is by buying up many of the rights to solar and wind technology. Yeah. yeah. All right. Getting ready for their trans- Not just getting ready, so they're going to- they, 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 they putting, the, putting it aside. If they had to press it for now. Suppress it. You yeah. know, they're they going to stop suppressing mm-hmm. that because the money is going to be for salvation of, of the planet in making that conversion that we should have made 30, 40 years ago. So Bobby, what should we believe in <clears throat> during these times? It's more what we shouldn't believe in. Speaking of that, because Santa Claus discovered <laughs> going straight Go past ahead, the ghetto. Go he, ahead. he worried about getting slay jacked. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys heard about the motherfucking plumber who found twenty, yeah, who found six hundred thousand yeah. in and, and, Joel and, and, Osteen's and, and, church. Never right, heard right, nothing right. to me. <laughs> <laughs> never heard nothing to me. Well, they go, they gave him twenty thousand dollars as a reward. Yeah, twenty G. What? Good. Out of six hundred thousand. Out of six hundred grand, nigga. That's good though. You know what? Nigga, he found two hundred in cash. And he wasn't gonna get none. He found no. two hundred in cash. What are you gonna do it? Boy, his way back up in that other wall that he didn't open up, and probably a couple million yeah. in that one. No, but you, you was really going Osteen in another had, direction about that. I don't think Osteen the faith community, the faith based community. Well, if you gotta believe in something, I don't think he was. I don't think Osteen was hiding. I think somebody stole that from Osteen and hid it there, and cut, was gonna come back for it later. Osteen can make six hundred thousand dollars, nigga, just in two in twenty minutes by fucking say, "Hey, I need. We need a new part piece of this to the fucking church." And fucking sit down, send that shit in in <laughs> so, twenty seconds. So uh, <laughs> that's an interesting perspective, Cab. You say it could be maybe a snitch ass, somebody grimy yeah. ass ex employee right. or em- current employee. That's right. stashing bread. Because it was but why would he put it, it there? It was four hundred thousand dollars in checks. So them checks don't go. They don't stay. They don't just. You, them checks void after checks, a while. Yeah. So he just. He had basically. He got paid for them checks. That them just four hundred thousand dollars in checks. Those checks got stolen. He just tell everybody to rewrite those checks. So those checks. Are, those checks are the void. If those people rewrote those checks and paid him again, he don't. They, them, that four hundred thousand so, dollars so, gone. So, so, so it was it only two hundred. So it wasn't cash. It was two hundred in cash. Two hundred in cash. Four hundred in, in checks. Four hundred in checks. So. That's cl- that clearly rules out Osteen right. because <laughs> he can't do nothing with right. four hundred thousand dollars checks. in checks. <laughs> Hide them, right? Yes. No, they, wait a minute. Said they probably made two hundred thousand dollars a week in children's church offering. I believe it. It's crazy. They could have. It's, it's yeah. mass- it used to hold the Houston Rockets in the place where he has church. That's right. That's right. The Houston Rockets used to play there. That's right. That's right. He get major money. The Omni? Yeah. That's where Joe Joel Osteen's church is. So nigga, six hundred thousand dollars ain't nothing for this nigga to get. He like six hundred. You going to church at the same center? The Omni. The Omni yeah. is Joel Osteen's church. Yeah. Absolutely. Nigga, wow. Creflo Absolutely. Dollar makes seventy million dollars a year. When he had his house, he was making seventy sixty-nine million dollars a year. Creflo and, and Dollar. Have, so <laughs> let me ask the question. And in that church they have four services a day. So let me ask the wow. question. Max. If faith in ourselves is undefeated, how is it that faith outside of ourselves is still so lucrative. Hmm. 
Everybody had to take a poll. <laughs> no, go ahead. No, I mean, I'm, trying, I'm, I'm, trying, I'm thinking, my, you got, my, is that it? That's oh. it. <laughs> this is a fair question. You mean faith outside but yourself as far as, as, far as who? Looks. I'm just saying, believing in whatever, believing in anything, oh. you know? Mm. Faith outside the self. Like, because the number, because one, the number one solution to everybody's problem is always outside of themselves instead of inside. You're not taught who you are, yeah. truly. In there essence, we go. You're not taught that you are God and you can do whatever you want if you just put your mind, energy, and heart, and spirit to it. So they, they suppress that information about you, so that leaves you wanting and looking and grabbing at shit outside of yourself when all of it is inside. It's right there. <laughs> Literally, it's all of it is right there. So that's the way the system wants it because it leaves you depleted of energy and, and uh, dependent on them. Why is it so difficult to see it? That you're the one. Like... That's like Bobby said, propaganda for the prop. What is it for the what? The prop, the <laughs> propaganda for the prop. <laughs> uh, let me fix that. The they the said it's the summit, not the Omni. Oh, the summit. Yeah. The yeah. Omni was in Atlanta. Yeah. The summit the was summit, in Houston. It was a summit, then it was Where? a compact center, and then it was like Boy Church. Wherever well, wow. the Houston Rockets used to play, that's what Joel Osteen holds his church. Wow. <laughs> wow. But it's like, it's like having service every day at the Astrodome. That's crazy. That's mm. my... Me, but again, Ooh. tying everything back to what we what what we've been talking, mm -hmm. right? It just seems that we're still under a major spell oh, yeah. that says somebody else is going to do it for us. Somebody else is going to save us. Somebody else is going to have the answer. And oftentimes, like you said, we're not conditioned to see that we are the answer. But I'm going to ask Bobby, because Bobby has lived way longer than us. <clears throat> and that's, that's, that's a hell of a compliment. A lot of people may not see it as such, but that's a compliment, being able to live and still be fucking alive. Man, the, the wisdom contained in that life is priceless. Mm -hmm. Bobby, as you've grown up, do you feel like... It's easier to see that you're your own worst enemy and your best answer. Each passing day. It also forces me to deal with unexpected loneliness. Go into that. <clears throat> because many of my contemporaries are long gone. Yeah. And, and, and in all honesty, that, that's, that's, that's depressing sometimes mm -hmm. because unless you breed a certain kind of replacement, if you will, mm. you get disconnected in ways that you're not familiar with because I grew up in, 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 in a, a, a link, a chain, if you will, mm -hmm. of humanity. Mm -hmm. and, and there was continuity in that, in that chain. Now, that chain is broken to the point where it's very, very rare and always refreshing when I run into somebody that's a generation or two removed from me that has those sensibilities, either innately or uh, through having been exposed to that chain vicariously or however. Mm -hmm. So the biggest challenge uh, as I've grown older is familiarity or the lack thereof. Because mm. there are days when I wake up and I feel like I'm in a, a world that I have no connection to. Mm. It's that different because I get frustrated with, with uh, the fact that I'm finding myself wedded to these devices far more than I'm comfortable with. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. Don't text me. That's 10 minutes I'm going to lose going back and forth. You know, right. Doing this right here. <laughs> we could have got this shit over with in about a minute and a half, you know. Right. Hey, hey, what's you know, going Bobby, on? he'd rather call you at 6 in the morning because he up. <laughs> <laughs> shit, he up. You better be up because we are all getting it, goddammit. If we call you, your it, ass up, nigga. boy, if you ain't up at 6, you, you lazy than a motherfucker, boy. I've been up already for two hours. That's right. You know, right. Yeah. I get it. Because you get up, that's the other thing. It's, it's, it's harder as you grow older, to sleep straight through uh, a period of time. All right. And a nap becomes the, the substitute for mm -hmm. yeah. a, a, 
continual amount of sleep. I sleep about four hours a day. I've yeah. been doing that since I was five years old. <laughs> so, so, and it's usually in the middle of the day. <laughs> <laughs> you fuck with this nigga late at night. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> you see your ass too, that nigga? Yeah. yeah. That's, That's that another nigga. side effect of technology. Because if you got something running all the time, then your body is not fully at rest. And it's absorbing that shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So some of that tiredness we all are experiencing mm -hmm. is the fact that it's something on all the time. Let me tell you something, man. I had a, a motherfucking meditation on the other night thinking, see, I forgot. Some of those meditations are stimulants. Mm. They not all right. for relaxation right. and going right. to sleep. Right. Right. frequency. I had the frequency on that was stimulant. <laughs> <laughs> and when I tell you, nigga, <laughs> stupid nigga, I did not get to sleep <laughs> till like 5:45 in the morning. <laughs> I was up. You funny, nigga. <laughs> Motherfucker, was, uh, you know them weird dreams when you 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 sleep but you're not sleep yeah, and it's yeah, dreaming, man. Yeah, right, all yeah, types yeah. of animals and weird <laughs> shit was happening. <laughs> You fell asleep with the TV on or something? No, I have my computer on. My computer oh, yeah. with the meditation shit yeah. and the frequency yeah. shit. I went to sleep for like 30 minutes I'm and then I was app where You can make your own meditations with all the different sounds and shit. You, know, you, can, create, you can create your own frequency to, <laughs> to vibe out to. Yeah. yeah this shit is it. But I wanted to say real quick, also getting back to who, we, who you are. And who you really are. Yeah, yeah. Who you truly are and what, what you reached beyond in the past, our ancestral you know, information. <clears throat> Tonight or today is uh, Solstice Eve, so mm -hmm. tomorrow is the Solstice. So just like we last year, it was a big. Uh, well, this you know, is when big, Jesus goes into the grave, right? <laughs> you know, last year was a big thing about the conjunction, the great conjunction when Jupiter and Saturn come together and uh, came together at zero degrees Capricorn. Well, the sun moves the, the Capricorn every year, and so that's a reset for your for your year every year. You can do this. <clears throat> just last year was the great reset when Jupiter and Saturn also came together. With, with the sun in, uh, at zero degrees Capricorn. But right now, you can do this every single year on the 21st. You can do your rituals, put out there what you want to happen for this next year, and that energy will be out there because it's called the Great Reset. You know, when you're at zero, zero, or, you're at, or when the sun is at zero degrees, it's neutral. So you know, there has, there's no opposing force. So you can write it. whatever you want on that exactly. living canvas. Yeah. Exactly. No opposing force. When you, again, when, you, when, a, when your car is in neutral, you can push it forward or backward. It goes whatever way you want it to go. So same thing, get back onto your, our spiritual, our ancestral shit, and things will start to happen for you. I promise you. They what's got that timeline? So well, typically, <clears throat> just tell them, uh, so December three 21st days. Three days to, to the 24th. Who? The, sum, the winter solstice. Winter solstice. Is what? December 21st to the 24th. That's tomorrow to the 24th. Yeah. So, so you remember the how the Bible says Jesus was in the grave hold for up, three days. Up, man. My Lord. I'm sorry. My Lord. I ain't going to lie, man. I never was. That, that's one thing I didn't study the way I should have. I, I was in all the classes, but for some reason, man, it never did just sink in like, you know. Right. Uh, the mother uh, discipline did. So you got to just bear with my ignorance when it comes to that book. So, so break it down for me. I'm negative. I'm negative. I have a record. I'm okay. negative too. All right. We're going to break it down. But no, December 21st. <laughs> through the 24th. Through the 24th. This Those year. are the three days Christ was in the grave. Really? Well, I talked to a pagan, and she said there's no way that a Capricorn would have saved this is, the world. This is why they say his birthday is December 25th. Mm -hmm. They really don't know his birthday. <laughs> right. <clears throat> then what, why are we relying on these? Because people? it's really in alignment what is called as, with what is called astrotheology. Right? So is that what you're talking about? Right. So that Jesus means, would represent no. the sun. The sun gets to zero degrees in Capricorn on December 21st, right? right? And that's the lowest point that the sun is at on the horizon. Right. So it looks like the sun dies. Oh, so Do you see? Three days. Then on the 25th, up. it rises one degree. One the degree. sun has risen after three days <laughs> in hell. That's what the Bible says. Mm -hmm. Which one am I? Y'all really got me. So Jesus that's, is a metaphor right, for, the, for sun the sun 
dying during the time of Capricorn, which later becomes Christmas. This is the winter solstice. Yeah, yeah. that would be a lot cheaper if we went with that word. <laughs> 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 right? Yeah, yeah. So again, like I said, it's so much put into all this external belief, mm -hmm. right? When all this shit is a manifestation of who you are. Yeah, who you are. And there see, is. this is this is why I say faith is some powerful shit, boy. Because if you get a motherfucker that's that's motherfucking uh, uh, charismatic and articulate enough. He'll fuck yep, around yep. and lead your ass yep. all the way to the wall. Yep. You be standing at the wall, nigga, like drinking that Kool Aid like Jim Jones and them motherfuckers. <laughs> this motherfucker wall is <laughs> beautiful wall, I'm at. Nigga. Can I ask you? It's true. Is there any way, is there any way Zoe or uh, Kevin could do like a spiritual dummies one on one for? <laughs> you can't do that all the time anyway. No, but I'm talking about like a, a little guy. Because it's, it's different for someone that has been. Listen, yo, let me just say. Time like me. Let me just say it like this. And Kev is like this too. And sometimes this is the best way to learn. It's not about being taught. What it's really about is going on a journey. Right. So Kev is good, and I'm good at sending you on a journey. Right. Listen, go study mm -hmm. astro theology. And, and then they'll and say, and just in astrology. And then they'll say, well, what the fuck is that? <laughs> and then I'm cool with giving you some books, some examples, but then Be the rest right. of that shit <laughs> on you to right. find out, right? Because I think the journey reveals more. Like we live in, man. Let me tell you something, man. This is what I've learned, and I'm not even hella old like that. But shit, this was. Motherfucker, kids and people in this day and time just want you to give me everything. Ass. Just give it to me. Give it to me. But nigga, our oh, generation oh, and shit. Bobby's generation is. You want some money? Nigga, you know what kind of business yeah. I got in this motherfucker? You want some money from me? Mm. Listen here, nigga. This is what I want you to do. <laughs> I'm gonna start you off with three bottles. Now, what I want you to do. Get out there and get your own bottles. That's right. Mm. Now, these bottles are redeemable at Miller's Liquor Store yes. in Altadena. Mm -hmm. Give them the game. This one's a 25-cent bottle. <laughs> this one's a 10-cent bottle. Yep. And this one's a 5-cent bottle. Nigga, I done gave you some money. Right. I done given you the game. Now, you get your ass out there <laughs> and find yourself some bottles. <laughs> See, we was taught to go cultivate, develop yes. shit ourselves. This generation is, just give it to me. Where's the, where's the link? But where can I find the exact generation. link to where you... Nigga! <laughs> Your niggas! But it's not just... Gener I mean, in Christianity, we are taught, so. number one, if you're going to leave me there, if you leave me with them three bottles, I really know that you have so much compassion in you that when you know that I'm hungry, you're going to come back and give me some more. That's honestly... That ain't what? Christianity! That's, that's no! honestly... That's honestly how. That's not Christianity. You have the mentality because you feel like <laughs> Christianity well, I, is. I can you can fuck <laughs> another man's wife <laughs> and ask for forgiveness, and say everything three, is all right. Say three hail marys. <laughs> and, that's, that's Christianity. Say three hail marys. <laughs> no, but it's, no, but it's like I, I'm, I'm gonna fuck up, but you gonna forgive me. So now help me out. No. 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 I mean, There's a reason why the millennials are the poorest generation in generations. Mm. The millennials have 4.8% of the nation's wealth. They ain't got no money. Mm. Mm. Gen Xers had 9% of the nation's wealth. Mm. Boomers had 21% of the nation's wealth. And we're talking about, this is how it breaks down today. Gen uh, the boomers have 21%, Gen Xers have 9%, millennials have 4.8%. That's why they waiting on these old folk to die. Yeah, so they can get them, <laughs> them and uh, them, uh, Y'all live in a, they live <laughs> in a fucking, yeah, they live in a society, please give it, give it to me. Mm. If you're not giving me what I want, you, yeah. you're not invested give in me. Give me, give mm. me, give me, give me, give me. Mm. Nigga, what have you developed? Mm. What have you cultivated? Right. But you love me. No, I don't. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No, I love you. 
But that's not how I show you my love. Right. It's uh, unsustainable. Mm. See, we got a generation of motherfuckers now that don't even like instruction. Mm. Ooh. Right. Ooh. See, when I came up, I was under people like Bobby. Bobby met my uncles. Yeah, yeah. I was under motherfuckers <laughs> like them. General. Be like, hey, me, tell you this shit one time. <laughs> After that, it's gonna hurt. Get daddy out your head, nigga. Hey, hey, me. Yeah. And they'll tell you, you ain't got a daddy, nigga. I'm, I'm the best shit you got. <laughs> you better listen to what the fuck I'm telling you now. I don't mean no offense by saying you ain't got no daddy. Everybody got daddy. But nigga, he ain't here. It's me. I need you to do this shit, right? They'll let you know. All lessons, my nigga. This generation is like, gimme, gimme, gimme. And they attach meaning to receiving. Nigga, I but can't not tell cultivating. You, I can't tell you how many times I've, I've done a video and I've put the link to have some shit that I'm talking about in the description box. Don't give a fuck. These niggas fuck will leave link, a comment. Nigga. Nigga, where you, where that at? It's right there. And I said it in the video, I'm gonna leave the link in the description box. <laughs> what the fuck? Lazy okay, ass nigga, okay. search, research, mm. do your own shit. Mm. That is the way you're gonna learn the shit the best. Crazy. No, but. no, research the shortest way to get to the knowledge you have. Mm. Niggas, wow. this is the Wikipedia <laughs> age, so quick. I mean, but hey. do, do your rituals tonight. Tonight or for the next three days, you got you got three days, 21st mm -hmm. to the 24th. Get in there and put out what you want to happen for the next for the next year. But you also got to put the mash out for that to happen. You just can't be like, hey, nigga, I want a million dollars. But let me turn on. Hey, nigga, but oh, well, I did Marvel. my shit early. <laughs> but, but to watch this Marvel. <laughs> I did my shit early. It was a full moon in Gemini the other night. Mm -hmm. It sure was. Wait, do, do, another another one. Do, do another one. I'm doing another one. I'm doing another one. Okay. So, make sure. So, okay, so this is. I have a friend that wants to do mushrooms very bad because they were told. Is it a male or female? It's a female. Mm -hmm. She wants to do it very bad because. Is she pretty? She's. she's, 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 she's <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, yeah. No, no but she was, told, <coughs> she was told that the best place to manifest is actually when you're doing under a psychedelic. Psychedelic. Because you yeah. can actually see what you really, really want, and then you can actually tell yourself and manifest whatever that is. Wait, wait, wait. No. Timmy Tight Top is the local drug addict. Okay. No, I've done, I've probably done more shrooms than Timmy Tight Top. You be Top. doing yeah. shrooms, Kev? In the past, I did. Yeah. Nigga, is it, is it portobellos? What kind of... <laughs> is it portobellos? Nigga, what kind of mushrooms you do? Shrooms is, is on some spiritual shit, shit. nigga. Shrooms are some, some spiritual shit. They're the best. Thank you. That's why the motherfucking ancient spiritual niggas used to wear shroom hat, hat, hats and shit. They're, they're, they're spiritual leaders. Show them that picture. I've seen those pictures. But now, but yeah, no, on shrooms, you can either eat them or, or make tea out of them. Mm. Can he look up the, 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 can she look up the hat? What is yeah, the hat yeah, called? It's a mushroom I forgot, hat? yeah. Just so you can yeah. see, because Kev got a whole video on this bitch. But just so you can see the symbology that's integrated right before your <laughs> eyes, and we didn't know nothing about it, Bobby. Right. I still don't. I but, still don't. <laughs> but you want, when you manifesting like that, though, you want a clear head. Mm -hmm. you, want, you want a clear intention to, to be able to put out into the universe and bring back to you. And you know, you can do things like write it down on a piece of paper and then you know, fold it up and like fold it with it coming into you because you want things externally outside. You don't want to fold inward. outward because right. that's pushing things exactly. away. So oh, wow. fold it inward. If you wanna, you. like for instance, if you wanna send some shit away, yep. Yep. you, you write the yep. shit down, then you write your name over it, yep. then you fold it away Wait from you. you. Mm. And you burn it. So that means the writing's on the outside then. No, the writing is on the inside. inside. You fold it, but away. you're folding it away from okay. you because you want it to get away from you. Okay. From the body. Mm. But if you want it to come to you, you write what you want, and then you write your name over it. Mm -hmm. Then you fold it mm. towards you. You know, Bring it this is shit our big mamas knew about. Yeah. You can burn it. And you can burn it, and you know, do what you. But I, I, what I do with mine, I set the ashes out to the universe because I'm spreading that energy out into the universe. Mm -hmm. You know, you can do the things that you want with it. Well. Just be careful what you ask for. That's right. Be detailed, though. See, yep. but tell me, be detailed. So th this is good. This is good. Yeah. Is it this should hat? you be detailed or should you be vague mm. in your asking? And the reason why I say you should be a little vague, general 
I should say, is because you remember those old TV shows with the with the genies. I, I dream of genie. Dream of genie. Yeah, yeah. See, oftentimes motherfuckers don't know what they want. No, they right. And they <laughs> want shit from an imbalanced place. But that's the that's how the genie. And that's fuck how the genie fuck, fuck you over because he give you <laughs> what <laughs> you want. Be a vague wish, though. That's why because the wish was vague. If they detailed no, it, the wish was it the, wasn't vague. It would be like I want no, a, it I would want be a million di- dollars. It would be direct. <laughs> I want a million dollars, and that motherfucker will go steal a million right. dollars. That's right. vague. That's vague. <laughs> he can <laughs> say I want to earn. It's how you work. <laughs> I want to earn a million dollars. See, no. that's more detail. You'd be like, <laughs> tax free. I, I want yeah, a million dollars. Right. All right, I'm going to steal I'm it from this mobster. Exactly. exactly. Now the mobster's like, hey, you got the fucking yeah. money. You right? Where my money at, nigga? <laughs> so it's not necessarily more detailed. I say it's more contextual. And context is balance. And a lot of motherfuckers lack balance. They, if you're a black and white thinker, you have black and white desires. Right. So you can be direct in your black and white desire. Hey, I want a new relationship with a bad bitch. And the universe be like, boop, but she crazy. She be, <laughs> well, yeah. schizophrenia yep. or yep. bipolar. Be like, hey, what motherfucker went? Hey, that, I, didn't, I didn't ask for that. <laughs> well, that's, that's it. You know, language is something. I'll be, I'm, yeah, nigga, I'm detailed. How you, you ask, tell me I tell the universe word, what I want, I'm detailed, nigga, and I get uh, what I want. A bad bitch is a bad <laughs> I, bitch. I get that shit. A bad bitch. A bad, a bad is a bad, <laughs> bad. <laughs> and so me and what Kevin if, are saying the what same thing. What if she bad like a, I'm, she robbed banks? <laughs> <laughs> That's your bad bitch. He got a, he got a bad meaning bad, right? right. Mm. No, Kevin and I are saying the same thing. I right. just use context right. over, over detail. detail. Right. Because sometimes you have to, in my opinion, you have to factor in the uncertainty principle in reality. Because the neo, neo you, you have to, you have to, neo. there is some ambiguity in it. And I think the more detailed you get, the, the, the reverse of that is if you don't get what you want, you're frustrated because you were so detailed. You pissed off like, well, what the fuck? How did I, what did I miss? Mm. Sometimes you have to leave it a little bit open so you can get everything you want and potentially more. Mm. Well, I, when I when I when I think about it like that, I just think when I ask for it like that, it may not come exactly the way I ask, but it's going to give me all of the elements that I ask exactly. for. Exactly. That's why I say when I say detailed, I don't mean it's going to come exactly the way I look at it. But the universe, all right, all right, nigga, we got all the fucking ingredients. We got it's the like, ingredients. Every time, oh, I like when you, that. When you go into the when you go into the kitchen, especially if you're a melanated person, you, every every meal you make is not going to be exactly like the same. Just right. Because we don't measure shit. We don't do that. Even if you're making the same (laughs) meal. If you're making the same meal, it's going to be off a little bit because we don't do the measure. We cook with our energy and love and all that shit. So each one is going to be a new creation. But it's going to look, it's going to be very similar to what the last one was. And so that's what I mean. When I'm putting that out there, I know I may not get exactly like that, but the universe is all right, nigga, all that shit is in there. (laughs) Nigga, the ingredients in there, nigga, you go fucking. That's what I'm talking about. I like that, man. This shit good. (laughs) I gotta ask you guys this. Fuck. Is Africa gonna break up with the Catholic Church? Uh, huh. Soon as hell freeze over. Right. <laughs> Catholic Church own. Uh, it can't happen. Own Africa. But it would be. <laughs> in China. Catholic Church in China own Africa, man. I, I, I hate to say never about anything anymore. But that's such a long shot because it's so protracted. I mean, right. We've been in that state of embezzlement. Embezzlement. Yeah, Spiritual we, embezzlement. Yeah. God damn. So long that it would take almost a, a natural act. In other words, some form of disaster that just up, you know, just uprooted all beliefs, all forms of normality, yeah. and you had to literally start all over. Well, maybe that has already happened. High-ranking Africa, African cardinal is allegedly fed up with the, with the Holy See and offers his resignation letter to the Vatican. Mm. This is a, peace a out. Cardinal Peter <laughs> peace. Uh, Turkson of Ghana, key advisor to the Pope, and many people said he had the potential to be the first black Pope in over 1,500 years if the current Pope 
died or he was voted in. <laughs> Did they give his reasons? <laughs> huh? What was his reasons? He said he Man, was. Maybe leave them uh, nutty buddies leave, alone. Leave them. <laughs> <laughs> See, I told you. Leave those <laughs> nutty buddies alone. Nutty buddies is killing no, this nigga said, right now. He said he was fed up with the bureaucracy, the internal bureaucracy, the fuck, yeah, the and the infighting. Well, and the booty busting. That's just <laughs> that booty busting. Number, number one. Uh, so I don't really see that as being anything uh, especially helpful because. He's just worried about the bureaucracy as opposed to the, to the theology of it all. Because that never did make no sense as a religion anyway that you you don't get to, you know, uh, reproduce and have yeah, yeah. You, you, relations. You, you, you deny know, the divine naturally. feminine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's, a connect. That's the connection. <coughs> the, universe, the universal balance. They denied the divine feminine. Let, let me. I'm just saying. What is the. Just. Kev, give, give this dissertation. What is the divine feminine? The woman, the, the, the moon. The and so womb. if there's a divine feminine, there's got to be a divine masculine, masculine right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So then that's balance. Mm -hmm. And so that's the 48 or the 42 laws of Ma'at, which deals with balance. Ma'at represented balance, right? Okay, cool. And they tell each one of them, you don't need the other. Right. So, <laughs> and then you, listen, because nowadays, if you compliment a woman, you're a simp. Man. <laughs> nowadays, if you talk about the divine feminine, you're a simp. Yep. So the reality of it is, there is no yin without yang, and, and vice versa. And vice versa. And there you go. The masculinity defines true femininity, and true femininity defines true masculinity. And the absence of both of those ends up being a ball of confusion. True. That's what the word is. that an OJ song, ball of confusion? Which, <laughs> Not the temptation. People, right. people you know, moving out, people moving in. Confusion. Right. Right. <laughs> but really, though, you know, <laughs> uh, we've, been, we've been discussing this. Huh? Oh, go ahead, go ahead, Bobby. I'm sorry. We've been talking about this in, in, in some form throughout this whole conversation in terms of what happens when things get out of balance. Get out of balance. And yeah. it's just a bunch of craziness, man. Yeah. You know, anytime you can be indifferent about your substance, <laughs> I mean, I don't need her. Yeah. I don't need him. Mm. Then what do you need? Because before this, this, this eclipse uh, of sanity, Y'all thrived together. Right. And now y'all can't stand each other? And they don't see the correlation of the world in turmoil and the male, the masculine, divine masculine and the divine feminine being at odds. Man. <laughs> oh, but isn't man. the ultimate thing of God, in, especially in Christianity, mean that God doesn't have a wife and he's the embodiment of the true embodiment of God? Uh, white people did that. They <laughs> had to. Some, somebody had Crazy. to do that. <laughs> because no, I'm saying that that's how we make it. Well, God not, be more singular see, than but oh, yeah, time, yeah. What, kind of, what kind of God wouldn't want to be satisfied? <laughs> Talk to me, Bobby. Because he's built in with. Now, who said he was a he? Action. See, there we go. See, with that. see, if he's a he, if he, if he got, if I'm a he, and and I'm I'm of him, then somebody lying. To somebody. somebody lying. Where that cooter at? God is everything. God is me. I love Gouda. Right. God love God Gouda. Love Gouda. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so so love. Everybody. <laughs> <laughs> so we can laws, baby. I was, to, I was listening to something the other day, and for the first time in my life, I didn't feel uh, uncomfortable questioning what I just heard. God so loved the world. He gave his, his only begotten son. I'm like, wait a minute, who God <laughs> is? How did God begin a son without a woman? Who, hey, that's what and they what say. was the purpose? <laughs> that's what they say. Hey, if he knew <laughs> the earth was gonna fuck this up, then why would he go through all the trouble? Send this nigga to be tortured. That's a, that, that's a cold I, nigga. I'm just hey, trying to figure out how that makes any they sense. Gonna, they gonna string well, your ass up on the cross, baby. Don't worry about it. No, <laughs> it makes it seem sex 
more spiritual. Sex actually creates something that is out of this world. That yeah, it Jesus used to be that way. Something perfect. It used to so be Jesus is an alien. No, he's out of this world. Yeah, he is. Yeah. He's gone there weird, is. like in some people's books. You know what I'm saying? No, that that metaphor, John three sixteen, is a metaphor of sacrifice. That's all it is. To what end? You know, to the highest level of love. For God so loved wow. the world that he gave as a sacrifice his only begotten son. To what end? And what I'm saying is it's a, it's a <laughs> metaphoric <laughs> sacrifice of ego. It has nothing to do with if, if he sacrifices this kid, the whole world, this is how Christians teach it, the whole world is cleansed of sin. Well, if that's that the case, happen. that didn't happen. Right. No, because the happen. world doesn't definitely got it more evil than it was yes. when it needed its first cleansing. <laughs> Thank you. So it's fucked up right now. That didn't happen. <laughs> Shit. So what? It's a metaphor of love. In other words, to have the highest level of love, there must be a sacrifice of something. Yeah. What was that? I ask Christians this all the motherfucking time. I say, man. You love God? Oh, I love God. Don't nobody love God like me. I don't know nobody that don't love God like me. All right, well, sacrifice your nephew, nigga. Not even your son. Right, your, your nephew. nephew. To God. Nigga, I ain't doing that shit, nigga. Right. <laughs> nigga, I can't even prove God here yeah. right now, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> you sacrifice my love home Nigga, right gonna turn on God uh -huh. quick enough. Uh -huh. Hey, nigga, God ain't real, nigga. Hey. Man, but you said. I know it's getting bad when I, I woke up with my fist balled up. You see what I'm saying? I said, wait a minute, man. This, this shit got tough. crazy. But, yeah. I, but I'm, I'm still confused because it, in the Bible it says, like, basically, the like there's two unforgivable sins. Basically, if you kill yourself and you blaspheme against the Holy Spirit. But if you kill yourself, why would the okay Holy Spirit. Look, watch this. Let me flip it another way. Why would the Holy Spirit give a fuck about trolls? <laughs> Thank you. Mm. He was before social media. Do you understand? Like, <laughs> we made it before social media. <laughs> like, God, nigga, <laughs> they don't mess no. First off, this the Holy Spirit, my nigga. This right. ain't no regular right. motherfucker, nigga. This is the Holy Spirit. The gates spirit. of all the spirits. <laughs> nigga, this is the Suge Knight of the, all right. the spirits. <laughs> the Debo of all nigga, the spirits. I am the Holy Ghost, <laughs> son of a bitch. You cannot blaspheme. Why would that, why would that even fuck with him? Great question, man. You got boundaries. Yeah. <laughs> and on that note, so <laughs> I gotta go and wrestle with some of these alligators. Wait, 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 we gotta talk. We gotta talk about my man first before you go. Bobby, we gotta talk. <laughs> we gotta about talk this. about my man before. Who is that? Oh my God, Tyron Woodley. Uh, it didn't last long enough to talk about. Uh, Bobby. <laughs> 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 I gotta ask oh, you, shit. why does this brother Hilarious. keep losing to this? We from another generation. We used to Holy just, shit. if you lose to a white boy, boy, if you get dunked on by a white boy, <laughs> if a white boy tackle you and knock your they helmet say, off. Wait, they saying he had something in his hand? That's, I put this up, man. You, you should have went and got a trade, man. What happened to the brother, man? Nothing happened to him because no, Somebody he, said it's a dime. That's why no, I put this up. No, you don't dive like that. You don't no, dive like that. No. Uh, he got no, it wasn't going to die. That's the damn no. I mean, it was a fall. No, die, but it wasn't going to die. Every time you fall on your face, I said, he got, he well got knocked he out. Got he was gone. No, you, go, you, you out before you hit the floor. Yep, he sure was. You see, because when he I see no stunt man. <laughs> and he wasn't, he wasn't taught how to land on his face. <laughs> but, I mean, it was, such, classes. it was such a clean blow. Well, yeah, you know, it's easy when because he don't know how to box. That's the bottom line. <laughs> and Tyron Woodley really don't know how to box. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Bobby. Not get in. I'll, I'll, I'll say about that to you. You know, people get their gifts confused. Football was his <laughs> gift. No, he, no, MMA is his gift. Oh, Tyron Woodley. MMA is his gift. Not Tyron Woodley. Yeah, because he's an MMA guy. Confused. Not the Tyron Woodley. Really what are you doing boxing then? <laughs> There you go. That's the no, whole boxing point. is this year. <laughs> yes. When he put his hands up there, I said, wait a minute, this boy don't know what he's doing. Thank you. And he took his hand from there, and then he put him here. He, he, and homeboy like, he don't know what he's doing. His guard was even is open. Go ahead and show it, man. So, yeah. well, we, we, yeah. well, it ain't going to no, take me no 30 audio. seconds. With no audio. With no audio? Okay. Yeah. yeah. It ain't going to take, take me 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just be honest? <laughs> Let me, this is what, this is what I'm pissed off about. 
I need a black man to look good against this white boy. I know. And he, keep picking, he keep picking the right opponents, though. It ain't gonna be that oh, hard shit. to do, man. Oh, shit. Damn, I turn my head. How did his hands go behind his head, oh. though? Boom! <laughs> no, you no, can't fake it. That is not a dive. No. Nigga, Sleepy McFarland. <laughs> look at that. The feet are. Okay, take it off. That's enough. <laughs> shit. <laughs> Oh damn! Now what? Is, now, Jake so Paul is an me, internet me, phenomenon, right? Huh? That's Jake Paul. Yeah, yeah internet phenomenon. Yeah. Okay, so he hadn't really fought any professional. No, but he's been fighting. boxing for four years. Let's get this straight, man. Explain I'm, that. Yeah. I train boxers. I tra I train people to box. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, again, Tyrone Woodley. Wait, walks before around. you say that, somebody just said he's paying them to fall, though. He is. Somebody said yeah. he, he is paying the them to to. To take a to take, take a, dive? a dive, basically get the ass and get the ass. No. That's a good show. He's not. That's, that's no. a good show instinct. Yeah, no. As, as vain as we are, Tom you're Willis not gonna Aries. fall flat dying. on your Tom nose. Tyrone Woodley's Aries. He's not diving. You're not but, gonna fall on your nose. But this the thing, though. Unless He's not a boxer. Conscious. Yeah. That's like going to tell a basketball player to go be play baseball. Like, it ain't gonna happen. Yeah. <laughs> like like your but boy, like your boy Mike got hit when his hand was down when he got hit. Uh -huh. He put his hand down when he got hit. His but hand was down. But he was play out before he hit the floor. Play it again. He uh, put his hand it's down. It's your instinct. No, Sarah, it's your again. instinct to try to break your fall, though. Sarah, play play he one was time. out. Yeah, he was gone. His hand dropped before he when he got hit. It did we not, it did it's not a question well, of did. was Watch. he knocked the fuck out. Well, Sarah, play one The question is, is set up. did he allow himself to be? Well, first, I'm about to show Sarah, Sarah, can you play one more time? Watch this. Sarah, play one more time. His hands wasn't up. His answer's down. Mm. But can you, but can no, he he got hit, his but hands but died. Right. 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 Do you have the way he walked up to him? His hands was up. No, his hands were down. Play the play the walk. His hands was up, but then his hands went down. His plans was up. He first of all, he's not moving his head. That's the first stupid thing. You don't yeah, you don't walk in, right, you don't walk enough. in close up without moving your his head. His hands was down. That's why. No, what's where they put? Where they put all this shit shut down? <laughs> yes, yes. Oh yeah, he shut all of his shit down. His everything gone. He, he took yeah. he took off. But this is the thing. Tyrone Woodley walks around at 170 naturally. Jake Paul is 192 run between 190 and 200 every day. And so, so he picked you, the smaller guy. Yeah, and then when you gain 20 pounds, first off, you're not you're a boxer. Sluggish, it's yeah. hard for a boxer to gain 20 pounds and fight and with fight, 20 pounds. Yeah. If you you've been boxing your whole life. This nigga don't know how to box and gain 20 pounds and don't and, and you trying to move and you don't know how to box with an extra 20 pounds, of course this motherfucker was gonna get knocked out. So let out. me ask you this. Didn't mm -hmm. Floyd say, come over here and I'll train you? Yeah. And, and he didn't do that. Okay. No, he didn't do it. He's Aries. He, he, he's on some, th on some stupid shit okay. a lot. <laughs> He'd be on, I got yeah, it. I got it. Aries be on some I got it shit so all the time. This Jake Paul boy probably came in about 210, 215. He probably, because he, yeah, he was one, they was 191 at the weigh-in. Uh -huh. He was one, one, 191 at the weigh-in, so yeah. you know he gained about an extra eight, nine pounds at least, overnight. Yeah. Right. So right. Tyron Woodley, he was struggling to get to 190. He was 189 so at the weigh-in. he probably went down. Yeah, he went yeah. down a little yeah. bit. Yeah. So hell no. There's no, and then you're not moving your head. Then, then you walk straight in and motherfucking drop your guard. I mean, it's obvious. So let me, me ask you this. <laughs> let me ask you this. Who gonna want to see that? Yeah, yeah. I, I heard, see I that heard Tyson was gonna fight one of these boys. Yes, yeah, uh, Logan. Now that's when you're gonna see the hell go look. A boxer fighting somebody who don't really know how to box. Tyson is gonna kill Logan Paul. <coughs> now that's, kill that motherfucker. That's what Floyd <laughs> said. They asked Floyd like. Nigga, Tyson, Tyson is going to kill him. Nigga, it's going it's to, it's, it's, it might be a murder in that ring. Well, for night. Logan, it's no, a Nigga, say, nigga. This is Wait, hold on. Is, can it be as worse as this? No. You niggas don't know how to box, nigga. Please. Y'all niggas on, y'all disrespecting the sweet science. This motherfucker, Logan Paul, don't know how to box. He's a YouTuber. He ain't boxed, but Who two disrespect he had two, to the sweet he had two, you, you said nah. Like Mike Tyson no. didn't kill this nigga? No, 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 no. That's not what I'm saying. Oh, I'm not. I didn't like, even finish oh, saying what I'm like, saying. Like, <laughs> Shit. My let man, me finish, goddammit. <laughs> what I was gonna say was there is the potential for these motherfuckers not to look really good, not because they can't beat a motherfucker's ass, but because they be saving a motherfucker like Floyd saved the brother. Right. Floyd didn't he, really he, go. He in. held the nigga up. He held him. Do you see what I'm saying? Like <laughs> he knocked Floyd, him out. Floyd and held the nigga up. But that's what I'm saying. Like 
We go in there expecting motherfuckers to be what they are, and then they be playing the game because they don't really want to hurt these but, motherfuckers. But when he, but this is the thing though, I, Floyd I didn't know. know he knocked him out. Well, That's why Floyd held him up. When Floyd hit him, the dude Floyd's face was he Floyd, fell in the Floyd. Floyd. He fell in the Floyd, but and that, Floyd held him but he, up. But you I saw but, that. But when you fall into a nigga, that's what you do on the inside. You lean on a nigga. Right. So they, he don't he don't know whether if he's leaning on a nigga to try to get his. When you lean on a nigga, to, your weight wears a nigga down. That's right. a boxing tactic. So he don't know if this nigga because he couldn't see him when he hit him. He hit him so fast and knocked the nigga out. The nigga went out. He went out and leaned on him, right. and then Floyd couldn't see him on one side. And right. then the nigga woke back up and motherfucking. And, and then to further my again. point, because Bobby be around these motherfuckers, I'm gonna go to Bobby after this. To further my point, <laughs> for the boxing, a lot of people forget the professionalism involved Man. in boxing. Oh my god! You saw it with the Eastern Assassin against Ali oh. when he was basically begging he was telling yep. the ref, the ref come, hey yep. man get it he, he ain't got a in. chance he, you saw it yep. yeah. when Pacquiao fought Margarito yep he was beating the shit out of Margarito he was like hey get come hey if you don't step bye -bye, if you don't step the fuck <laughs> right nigga like what you come on nigga like Stop the fuck Stop in there, the man. Right, man. This nigga's already motherfucking <laughs> doing the bitch. Get him. <laughs> already so doing there's it. a certain level of professionalism. And what I'm saying is you saw Floyd exhibit that professionalism in the exhibition against the white boy, whereas most of us wanted to see Floyd destroy the nigga. Beat the shit out of him. Now, if Tyson fight Paul, we want revenge, Tyson. Yeah. You cannot let these white boys be out here knocking niggas Nigga. out like this. Okay. But he ain't. He done knocked, knocked out two niggas. He done knocked out Nate like Robinson. He done knocked, knocked out Tyron. Man, you it, white boys can't just be out here Nigga. knocking niggas Nigga. out. Fuckers, don't we need say. one of our super niggas <laughs> to come knock this white boy out. Nigga. That's all I'm saying. Don't even say I'm going Nate Nate. They say I'm going Nate Nate. Nigga. I'm going Nate Nate. Not Nate Nate. I'm going Nate Nate. That's fucked up. <laughs> it don't have to be no uh, legendary fighter. Any accomplished mm -hmm. boxer, contender, yes. anybody in the top yes. twenty-five in the in the not light even, heavyweight not even division the top will fuck him up. Not even the top twenty-five. <laughs> but you got to give him credit hey, for the let's, let's let's get our boy on him. Who? Counter punch. Oh, uh, Victor. Let's get Victor oh, on his ass. Oh, Victor, Victor, Victor walk around by 190. Yeah. Victor walk around by 190? Yeah, and he went with, with my boy. He went yeah. with my boy. Oh, you know what? I'm glad you mentioned that, man. I'm going to see if I can get that to work Yeah, that'd be good. That'd be real good. That'd be real good. He ain't a lot of people with bite. He would never go for it. He not going to go for it. He not going to go for it. Paul ain't going to go for it. Jake Paul wouldn't do that. No, hell no. This nigga's done had four fights, and all of them, none of them been with a professional fighter. But you know what? That'd be a good, that'd be a good, he'd go, he might he might go for that. I need to go for that. I I got to go see Victor anyway. But. That's that bullshit you said about Florida a minute ago. What? He didn't show my man. My man begging and Floyd, you know, I just I was just headbutting you, man, because I was just confused and I, I can't win. And Floyd like, what? Huh? You you what? You got your hand right here? Bye bye. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> and you come in and out of it. Bobby, know? they said he called out Canelo. Who did? This white boy. Oh, God. He called him out all he want to. But that Canelo will beat the, the no, he know that, that He know that Canelo going to hit him twice, and everybody going to be mad after they done paid $159. Yep. Canelo going to knock him out with one point. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> and Canelo would be smart to get that money. He would. But, he so would. you have to give these white boys credit because they have resurrected Boxing. <laughs> Not the the great corner. white hype. Yeah, yeah. Tell you, that's what it is. Just it, it turned it from a just that notion to a, a, a real life situation. You know, and oh, we like, know Nate Robinson ain't no fighter. No. Nate Robinson was fighting him like he would be fighting. He him was leading all mall. He was leading with his head. He <laughs> led with his whole brow. <laughs> <laughs> they do though. They show you looking good on the bag. Mm -hmm. Yes, and, they, and that looked like oh, that we never fight. did see him spar. No. But you saw him in there beating that bag. Right? <laughs> <laughs> they look like he was going to tear that boy up, man. He got in there, man, and next thing you know, he took flight. Yeah, what did homeboy say in Bloodsport? A uh, bag nut hit back. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> hey, y'all, man, thank y'all for letting me be myself. Hey, man. we love you, Bobby. Shit. Sure. I, I, I'll get with you tomorrow, though. Absolutely, bro. Hey, Kevin, I'm going to have to get with you, man. On Yo, this man. Show. Oh, Kev, man. he need all this, man. Yeah, all yeah. that, man. I got, you, I got you, Bobby. Yeah, yeah. I, I need all the help I can get. We need to get Zoe some uh, private man or something, man. <laughs> nah, man. Good, I promise you. We need to get this nigga <laughs> some animal, <laughs> the monoclonal antibodies. <laughs> no, you know what it is, man. I was around my son, new. This Jesus. nigga came, he had a little cold. Oh, shit. From oh, traveling. blame it on other people shit. now, boy. <laughs> no, no, no. You can't come back into America without no, two or three negative right. tests. That's right. Oh, you can't? No, you, right. nigga. Okay. Yep. That motherfucker tested a gang over there, doesn't it? So you got to be negative tested three days. You got to be negative for three Yeah, negative. that nigga three had days. a shit ton of tests. He came back. So he wasn't negative when he came back? He was negative, nigga. Right. Cool. I done told you, right. man. Mm-hmm. So you cool. And then man. I done took tests, nigga, and I'm so negative. So you cool. Fuck is wrong, nigga. <laughs> why, you cuss, why you coughing over there, man? Because I get to cough, cough, nigga. Damn. We live in a society now that made coughing evil, nigga. Nigga, you funny. If this nigga was doing that, you'd be killing Terry Tights out right now, nigga. Exactly. <laughs> you this nigga up. Wait, hold on. I'm working on right. hazmat patient or Wait, shit. Wait, hold on. Hey, nigga, let me get my hazmat suit. Hold on, Kevin. <laughs> let me bring something to your attention, Kevin. That motherfucker been coughing all show. Have you noticed that? Who, me? This nigga here. What the fuck? Cough. I'm between two goddamn dying ass <laughs> niggas. <laughs> this nigga been coughing all you. I'm between two goddamn <laughs> fucking hospital patients. <laughs> what the fuck? Nah, man. Glad I'm doing my cleanse right now. Shit, my yeah, shit is nigga. my. my Take care of yourself, nigga. God damn. Take care of yourself, Nick. I, I Take care of yourself. Well, <laughs> shit, we get two niggas coughing over, over each other and shit. Trying to hey, battle man. cough. Battle cough. Go. <laughs> Battle cough, go! Shout out! <laughs> Shout out to motherfucker. What's my homeboy? What's the comedian? Uh, the big boy, the real big guy. What's his name? Lavelle Crawford. Lavelle Crawford. Lavelle? That nigga's comedy shit is is fucking hysterical, especially when you talk about his mom. And when he got home, and mom and dad having sex. Dear, 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 dear. <laughs> I was watching. Go, Lionel, go! <laughs> go, Lionel, go! <laughs> go, Lionel, go! <laughs> no, that shit funny, man. Hey, but um, let's do this. We got one more topic to cover, and I think it's important. Um, you know, this is about to be real interesting. We talked about it before. These HBCUs have four Hall of Famers each. Yeah, buddy. <clears throat> right? Yeah. Right? That's the same as Florida State, UGA, Purdue, Stanford, and Wisconsin. So the four that we're talking about is South Carolina, Jackson State, mm-hmm. Gramlin, and Morgan State. And that's more than Auburn, Cal, BYU, Clemson, Florida, Michigan State, Ole Miss, Mississippi State, SC, UNC, NC State, Tennessee, Texas A&M, Virginia, Virginia Tech, and Washington. Mm -hmm. Very interesting time we living in. And we had this motherfucking, uh, we had this conversation before. Because niggas be like, if you go to an HBCU, it somehow makes it blacker. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Or makes you blacker. Listen, it it does make you blacker because HBCUs have black culture. Black collegiate culture is found, revered, and cultivated at HBCUs. They got a step team. That's great. <laughs> they got a step team. <laughs> but I like to point out, just because you go to a HBCU, that don't mean it's blacker. Come on, come on, free. See, because oftentimes people think, because it's an HBCU, that this motherfucking school is owned by black people. Right. Come on. 
You think if you go to HBCU, you somehow diverting the money that the big white school would have got that the little black school is now getting. Let me just say, it's an HBCU, so it's poorly funded. Yeah. But make no mistake, most of them are poorly funded, right? But make no mistake, the motherfucking universities ain't owned by niggas. Niggas? <laughs> A lot of them owned by China. And so what's going to happen is, because of this revolution, right? Because of this revolution, because this is a revolution, don't make me. Listen, the HBCUs used to be like the motherfucking Negro Leagues. That's where all the players used yep. to go. Back in the 50s, 60s, 70s, that was all in the motherfucking uh, HBCUs. Yep. You understand? They can't go to the prestigious universities of the Caucasians. <laughs> Unless one of our Caucasian brethren in the coaching field decides to recruit a Negro, <laughs> Negro. to change the landscape of his organization, of his, of his program. We shall never let a nigger here. But that's what happened <laughs> when Bear Bryant yep. got his motherfucking ass yep. beat by USC. Yep. He was like, well, let me, you, go, let me said, go get some of them motherfuckers. Them motherfuckers came in here with niggas. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Them motherfuckers marched in and whooped that country ass. Yep. And Bear Bryant said, you know what? <laughs> we better get on this Negra train. <laughs> yep. This Negra train leads to whims. <laughs> you see how fast that Negra hit the outside edge? <laughs> that nigga ran through our... Ran through our offensive line, yeah. defensive line, like it wasn't nothing. <laughs> but so I never understood why some of the HBCU games, like in the past, you've been so bad. Back. Be listen, and, 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 like, listen. Because I, I, and I and I talked about this a little bit on my uh, I, I, damn leftover niggas. That's fucked up. I talked about this a little bit on my Nova Time Sports Show on KBLA. Fifteen eight. Here's the thing, man. Kids nowadays look at schools like brands. Mm. Yep. <clears throat> Nigga, a HBCU, my son told me this. I, Nigga, that's like a Puma. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga. And then there are tears in the Nike hierarchy. It's like a Puma. <laughs> like, nigga, I'm not finna wear a like, right. like a goofy <laughs> nigga night right. over a Jordan or a Kobe. Or uh, right. you know, I'll do a Kyrie or a KD right. or, mm. but nigga, it's Kobe, LeBron, right. Jordan. It, Shout out to Kyrie, by the way. Some, winning, baby, you won, Kyrie. But go ahead. There's some, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. There's some, there's some goofy nikes down there too, though. That niggas yeah. like, <laughs> you got on a JJ Reddick, nigga. <laughs> like, you know, some goofy low key, nikes. Low key, JJ wasn't that bad, though. I'm saying, yeah, I know. I'm there's a lower tier <laughs> nikes <laughs> that kids ain't fucking with. JJ Reddick. <laughs> so when we look at, the, when the kids are looking at college, man, it's some weird shit going on. Got the daddy. The daddy. She said the daddy. She said you got the daddy ages. The daddy ages. The daddy ages, nigga. Somebody said bronze and J's only. Nigga, don't ever forget the Kobe's, nigga. You, what? Okay. Nigga, what? Nigga, you tripping, hate, nigga. Boy, they hate on Kobe. They be hating on Kobe, nigga. Yeah. Well, Y'all couldn't talk this shit if he was if he was dead. If he wasn't dead. Brad, you That's fired. fucked up, man. Don't even mention that that man dead, dog. I know. We dude. lost Kobe, man. I know, man. <laughs> shit, two years ago coming up, yeah, goddamn. Shit, man. Next God. month, man. They killed, they killed the homie. But nah, uh, Dion is changing the landscape. Yeah, man. Yeah. Motherfucker bringing in... Uh, Thought professors, mm. motherfuckers are teaching see, the ways see, of magic. Wait, wait, wait you see, thought. wait a minute. You see now, they all, all these, all the, these, uh, the D1s are offering this nigga now. He's, re he's interviewing with down yep. the D1s. Yep. Of course. But he should, Ooh, like, he should he's stay. Like, he, if he's going to change the culture, Dion's change, change the culture. But his son is still on the team with him, though. It would be fucked up if Dion built up all this energy and, and then bounced. bounced. Got, the, got the number one recruit but in the Leo. whole country to come there. The number one recruit is going to Dion school right now. The Somebody number one said recruit Kobe's are hard to find now, so they can't find the Kobe's no more. Word. Well, you know his wife basically oh, was like, "Oh, that's right, that's right." Hey, y'all stop selling the nigga shit. 
That's right. Oh, she did this? That's because right. I guess they, they, they're they, going to come out with, Mamba, with the Mamba. They uh, hadn't finalized whatever deal before he died. And, and he was coming out with his own shoe. And then they was putting out other shit, and she was like, no, no, no. I'm get them Cheryl Swoops. <laughs> get the Cheryl Swoops. <laughs> <laughs> Cheryl Swoops. <laughs> hey, it's a lot of men out hey, here with. Cynthia Cooper was hard, though. It's, hey, it's a lot of men out here wearing Cheryl Swoops, nigga, though. Cheryl Swoops? Seriously, nigga. Cynthia get Cooper your was size hard. four and, four and <laughs> a half foot. Get <laughs> 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 them Cheryl Millers. Hey, Cheryl nigga. Miller was hard. Hey, Cheryl Miller was a Cheryl dog, Miller. nigga. Oh. Some people even said Cheryl Miller was Red, harder Red, than Reggie. Yeah, they did. Yeah, absolutely. I'm, I'm talking about mentality-wise, right. and that nigga yeah. was a dog. Yeah, he sure was. She was a beast. Oh, but God. nigga, just but, like just like going, going back, we you talking about the how they would have all the talent, mm -hmm. and then uh, you know <clears throat> the white schools will see like Bear Bryant saw got his ass beat by USC. Same thing happened with Texas Southern when 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 Rupp, when Rupp. Uh, what is Roth. it? Uh, Ruff at Kansas. Kansas. Oh, when yeah. When the motherfuckers got, when they, seven niggas. You're like, I'm going to play seven niggas. Is that Kansas or Kentucky? Was it, I think it was Kansas, wasn't it? One of the two. Where, wherever, wherever, uh, Wait, hold on, wherever, hold on, uh, what's his name went? Uh, Why the fuck? What? You I know about sports too. What it was, but then. Once we try to get more information right. from you, you say whatever. <laughs> you don't even know why you question. <laughs> I did. Was that Kentucky or was that Kansas? Well, nigga, if you know, do you know? Was it Kentucky? I think it was Kentucky. I think it was Kentucky. Wherever Pat Riley went, I think it was. I think it was Kansas. Yeah, I was, it was always, wasn't it? Somebody said no. the school was West Texas, now Utah. West Texas. That's <laughs> that's the yeah. That was the first. I'm talking yeah. about where where root where. Uh, the school that they that they played though, in the championship with only seven niggas, and then oh, but Rupp, wow. he would never he would never have niggas on his team. He he was he was dead set against having niggas on his team. When niggas beat their ass, that like the <laughs> shit. then oh nigga let's go recruit a gang of niggas again. <laughs> so it, are you saying the same thing is happening in the HBCU thing? Yes, I'm thinking that's what's about to start happening. Somebody I said it was Kentucky against Western Kentucky. Kentucky. Yeah, it was Kentucky. Or I told you it was Kentucky. Kentucky. Well, you you wasn't even sure. Right. I nigga, was so sure. Was sure I, I, I said, said it was, nigga. I, See I how said, sure the nigga is after the I fact. I said it was Kentucky. I, I said it was Kentucky. <laughs> <laughs> you wasn't even sure. <laughs> but I don't. I think based on that, that the number one recruit came, came there because they gave him money though too. They well, gave no, him. Well, because I said Adolph Rupp was coach. Adolph Rupp. That's it. Rupp. Adolph Rupp. Kentucky. So he but was, they, um, they but given so since they able to give them money now. Well, yeah, endorsement. Yeah, that's how they was able to yeah, get that dude. And yeah, they gonna, they, they gonna continue to do I that you too. Meant that the school was giving yeah, them money. The, the endorsement. Uh, yeah, the endorsement. Well, I mean, they gonna get you no. Know, what, what what will happen by him signing? You know, this this kid. And, oh, this kid went back to Grambling yeah, from good. UCLA. Oh shit. Yeah. Former UCLA quarterback heads to play. He's a backup though. This is gonna be different. Nigga, it is. Yeah, I'm gonna need Grambling dorms to not look like good times though. But again, what's gonna happen is if these guys, I'm gonna tell you right more now. More money's gonna start pouring in there. More money's gonna pour in, but I'm gonna tell you right now. You fuck around and get one or two niggas. These are the two niggas that will really flip this bitch inside out. Uh -huh. You get Jerry Rice to become a coach? Baby, boom. They said they were talking about that. Nigga. Jerry needs Baby to be the next boom. one. If Jerry Rice. They were talking about that. Fuck around and go to like some random weird shit, right? What's it? What's it? Go to FAMU or some shit. <laughs> FAMU. <laughs> Needs to be like, what the you. fuck? That nigga said FAMU. But FAMU ain't weird. <laughs> FAMU is actually pretty dope. But say, say go to. Say, say, go to the school he went to, Mississippi Valley State. Yeah, Miss, that's there you go. That's an off, that's an obscure one. Yeah, you know, okay. Alabama State or some shit. Where did, where did uh, uh, Dame Lilly go? Dame went to. He didn't go to HBCU. No. He went to uh, Weber State. Weber State. But, oh, okay. Which is uh, it was in the Mountain West Conference. Mm -hmm. okay. Now it's I think it's in uh, it's in another conference, but it used to be in the Mountain West. I think it's in the same. Weber State might be in the same conference as uh, TCU. But do y'all know this shit is actually kind of based off the show All-American? Because All-American and Tate is a football the, star, the, goes back to his high school, which is Crenshaw High. 
The show with the British and, nigga. Yeah, <laughs> as, a, as the star. Here's the top recruit, which is the black. His, yeah, I've seen, like, seen it. I've seen it. That's something, whatever, from. from yeah, Tay did. High yeah, Tay did. And turns Crenshaw High into a, a championship team. Oh, that's what happened in the next season? Yeah. I didn't see that part. I, I saw Tate Diggs go back. I, I stopped watching after that. I don't be watching that shit. What the fuck is she doing? What show is this? All American. But it's just kind of like what's happening. It's art imitating life. <coughs> That's always, if you pay that's attention always to that shit. Was. Like, I ain't never heard the shit. What's all the American? Shit? All American. And Tay Diggs do what? He was like a star football, NFL football Crenshaw. player. Crenshaw. He, yeah, he, he went to Crenshaw. And it's he about Crenshaw. Up. Yeah. The show's about Crenshaw. Somebody yeah. said, damn, spoiler alert, sure. <laughs> <Sarah>. <laughs> right? <laughs> right? You yeah. see what I'm saying? But like, it's, it's, it's just like any it, any other show that you've seen where they get a, a melanated uh, Aboriginal athlete and put them on a good team. Somebody said, thanks, Sarah. It just gets good. Well, I will say this, man. Mm-hmm. Fuck all the dumb shit. It's about to be a surge. Mm-hmm. If them motherfuckers can get their facilities on par yes. with D1, yes, that's right. going to have to be some of these rich alumni, though, going back and. and but I mean, what what, what, what alumni are you talking about? That's what I was about to what say. What alumni are you talking about? What alumni are you talking about? Where alumni are you nigga, talking these about? These schools crank out, not maybe not sports alumni, but they crank out motherfucking <laughs> academic alumni with money. Agreed. Uh-huh. And these niggas, if they okay, want to they they're not nigga, tied they to ac- academics. And, that's the problem. Okay, Kev. But nigga, these, the, a lot of these alum, like if you watch like just these little movies like Drumline and shit like that. These motherfuckers who be who be giving money are these are the academic alumni yeah, because but, they these but because that, the, these like you said, the, the academic alumni are not tied to the athletes. It's a little bit different sometimes. They have like egos within all that stuff. No, that's true. They're, they're, it is stratified. You got yeah. some some listen here. I've been to every fucking game over the past 12 years. And there's been some tough times and there have been some good times. And I've been here for all of them. There's, for all of them. There's, hey, there's all them all motherfuckers. Them. And then there's uh, this, this is barbaric. You know, we will give our money to the, right, we'll give our money to the science team. This is their fourth year. And, the, you know, it's, 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 com- it's competitive in that way. Uh, but I will say this, if the money comes in, and I don't give a fuck from where, if that come in, yeah. you might see, I would love to see like a competition, um, uh, say Jackson State or, or any of the, uh, HBCU football programs get to a level where you see the motherfuckers and they going against an Auburn mm. and, and I'm saying they're on par, right? See, because I'm going to tell you right now, nigga, this is, this is honest. This is God's honest truth. Nigga, if you put Florida's, uh, if you put Fresno State's football team down there with the HBCUs, they'd beat the it. shit out of them motherfuckers. <laughs> they'd go 32-0, and 0, nigga. They'd beat the <laughs> shit out of them <laughs> Do you understand? That's Fresno funny. State, That's funny. they football team would beat the shit out of all of them uh, HBCUs because they don't have the talent. Right, in the program. But if motherfuckers start going down there, that's going to be different, man. Yep. That's going to be different. Yeah, Somebody up. said North Carolina a t won the NCAA in track and field. But that's nigga. Easy. What? First off, that's North Carolina. Nigga. They didn't win the NCAA. They, they, first of all, there. they didn't win the NCAA. They won that one race. No, they said mm-hmm. North Carolina a won the N- won the NCAA in track and field and sent two of their runners into the Olympics. That's what Leon just said. Now, maybe Leon was there, nigga. First of all, they be treating ACCUs like the WNBA, my nigga. Like, they be acting like it's <laughs> terrible. Let's talk about not. the WNBA while we're here. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've been meaning to jump on this. Kev, I'm going to ask you straight the fuck up. Candace Parker? No. No, <laughs> no I ain't worried about Candace Parker marrying a woman. And fuck it. <laughs> they had a baby. That made me. They had a. What you just the say? Baby. They had a baby. Let me just ask this. Her, Let's just her be. My wife is pregnant. Let's but be, not by her. But uh, see, because that turns into a whole nother. Right. That, yeah. That goes to. Right. <laughs> 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 the alphabet soup when you start talking about this. Like, open that baby in you, girl. Huh? Mm-hmm. You pregnant, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Huh? Pregnant? See, that's a whole. N- anyway. <laughs> <laughs> See, is she married to a white woman? 
Oh, that's right. But let me let me just go here with the shit. God damn. <laughs> Do WNBA women deserve to be paid the same salary as NBA players? Hell no. I really want to ask. The reason why. Nigga, hell no. If they had the same amount of people. Nigga, a million, the nigga, hell to the motherfucking no. Hell no. Till I see your ass motherfucking able to fucking put a ball between your legs and do a 360 dunk, bitch, you ain't getting, you ain't getting nowhere near the money. I say yes. And let me just say this. And let me just say this. There are happened. some women out there that are now starting to dunk and do all not that. No and that's 360 cool. between nothing. Brittany Griner. And that's cool. And that's cool. <laughs> Barely dunking. And I love women's basketball, too. Let me tell you why. Women's basketball. It's great. It's great because it's great. these niggas are way more Fun, fundamentally. I was just about to say fundamentally. Way they more off fundamentally the sound. Off the chain. Be, because they're not as athletic, they yep. have to be yes. fundamentally sound. Better yes. dribblers, better shooters, better passers. And if you watch the game, although it lacks a lot of athleticism, the game itself, the game itself is smoother. Is much better. Like, oh yes. shit, these motherfuckers know how to play. Yes. And when them motherfuckers get an open shot, that bitch be going, yeah, in. be going in. <laughs> they don't be suffering from what right. Russell Westbrookism. They'll <laughs> 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 be, be like, hi. It'll be straight cash money. I get it. But y'all don't deserve the same fee. Hell just no. because see, then they turn it into some gender shit. The, who's the big tall? The big, tall, pretty. No, no, some big, tall, pretty WNBA player. She pretty. Uh, Started a a OnlyFans page to compensate for this is not not Candace Parker. This one's it's not Candace Parker. No, no, no. Just look it up. Just no, it wasn't Skylar Diggins. It's a she's a big like a like a power forward center big. Oh no. Damn. Somebody said Liz. What's her name? Liz Damage. Is that her name? Liz Cambridge. What is? Is that the one who was putting who was putting it on the little dude, the dude in the in the TikTok video? Yeah. Her? Oh. Yeah. So let me just say, you can't use one form of privilege to talk shit about another. I'm using pretty privilege because <laughs> right. niggas have been giving me shit my whole life mm-hmm. into let's balance out the lack. Of pay right. in the WNBA, you cute and you know if you show a little tutti frutti, <laughs> you finna get some bread. <laughs> pretty women have been getting bread because they're pretty. Right. Factor in the pretty privilege too. Okay. You can't just get the. She's six eight, boy. Woo. Yeah. That ain't her. That's her. That ain't her. <laughs> <laughs> Still luck up. Yeah. <laughs> See, pretty privilege. Mm-hmm. Because niggas I'm can't pretty. do that. Niggas can't. We go. don't have pretty privilege. <laughs> you know how to play. You don't know how to play. Right. You can't get in the league. That's some rap. You gotta go to the gas station and get it done. Somebody said lanky bra. Put her back up. She got an emote picture. Oh, oh, there you go. She got more picture. <laughs> she got an emote picture. Got an emote picture. <laughs> so all I'm saying is, somebody said wafer thin. Uh, that bitch probably a, a 197 pounds, nigga, 210 pounds. She is, <laughs> what she the fuck? definitely ain't no thin. Do you want a girl? Listen, I like thick girls too. Let me just. Oh yeah, she bought But nigga, these niggas be wanting to calorically challenge. <laughs> calorically <laughs> challenge. <laughs> that, that is fucking hilarious. That <laughs> calorie odometer <laughs> says 297 miles. Calorically challenge. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, nigga. <laughs> Calorie challenge. <laughs> <laughs> they want bitches that be wheezing. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sleeping? I think I'm watching TV with you. They need a CPAP when they're sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, shit. Yeah, sleep apnea and shit. Another one of her is right here. 
Yeah. Yeah, that's the girl that was there. Yeah, she was putting it on See? when she was close. Now, if your OnlyFans page oh, 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 yeah. is <laughs> more interesting than your game, mm -hmm. are we getting what we pay for? The game has to be elevated. Now, it's difficult to elevate the game athletically for women. Why? And I'm going to tell you why. Their body and the stresses on their body, they don't handle the stresses the same way men do. Doesn't have, doesn't have a problem with people running track and field for the women. Why well, that's a different sport and requires different yeah. uh, body. But you know, why, you know why it's different. We talk about, nigga, we talk about lateral movement in basketball. Lateral movement on feminine knees. Yeah, and nigga. <laughs> so instead of building, use, listen, I said this before, nigga. My son had that motherfucking ACL shit damn near seven years ago. When I went in there and watched this nigga rehab, it dawned on me instantly. All the bitches is using this exercise to make their booty fatter. <laughs> you mean the abductor Man. machine? Nigga, all yeah. the exercises he was doing Cause those are the muscles. to rebuild yeah. all yes. of the motherfucking muscles around the dumbass knee joint. <laughs> you gotta rebuild the quads, you gotta rebuild the hams, the glutes, all that shit. All these women are doing that shit to have dope booties. Look at all these fitness women. You look at them, them some booty trainers. That's not the, booty it's, it's but actually the, for the, the inner thighs. They yeah. doing it for the inner thighs yeah. usually. I'll pull this motherfucker up right now. I know what exercise you talk about. Ass. The, They're doing ass training. That's the picture of this girl too? <laughs> yeah, that's her. So all I'm saying is, Shit. instead of training. Yeah, that's her. Put her up a little bit. Yeah, bigger. that's all right. Put that, put that picture bigger, please. <laughs> Let me tell you something, that's all right for the, uh... Now listen, can I be honest? <coughs> your game has to be more interesting than your frame. Absolutely. And right now your frame mm -hmm. is winning. Nigga, it is winning. Now but, in yeah. basketball, it is winning. <laughs> the, I'm just saying. The sport is not appealing, that's hey, why. Well, one is airbrushed, the other is at the gym. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> 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 She's a homeboy sexy, man. Hey, those be some of the sexiest. <laughs> Wait, this girl. Is homeboy sexy? That's the homeboy no. sex. That's sexy. He talking about the tomboy the girls. Tomboy girl. yeah. The tomboy girls will fool the mm -hmm. fuck out of you. They be walking around with a hoodie I'm, on. I'm right here. No, nah, nigga. <laughs> She's actually that. That's that's a better picture of her right there, though. The one of Brittany Griner, the one you put up there, that's a oh, yeah, way yeah, better yeah. picture of her. Now, see, Brittany Griner just mm -mm. Mm -mm. looks like Anthony Davis. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Thank I'm just, you. just not a real attractive. No. no. Just not a real, I mean, not every, motherfuckers think just because she's a girl, she got to be classified as motherfucking attractive. Not every girl is attractive, no. not every man is attractive, and Brittany Griner is just not. Attractive. No. <laughs> Sorry. Now this one here, though, this long. She is to somebody, but. <laughs> you understand? Mm -hmm. That long piece of thing right there. <laughs> huh? Look at that and go watch that video where she posted homeboy up in, on the TikTok. Let me take some better there. doing that. I was stretching <laughs> her hands out and tie her hands together like this here. <laughs> and then I stretch her feet out. And tie her feet together like this here, and I lay on that motherfucker like a hammock. <laughs> Just swing back. Get your big ass girl, swing back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying. I love the WNBA. Oh, yeah. I don't really like the blonde look. No, but the black one. Yeah. See her Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody says she wear 14s in men's. You ain't got the fucking foot. Right, nigga. Huh? If I see your dick on a girl's foot, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas be tripping. My son used to trip too. It was it was a real pretty ass girl down at Auburn, but she was like seven feet. Anyway, she wasn't really seven, seven feet. Seven feet. She was like Ooh. six, eight. Eesh. Like, and, but when she put on the motherfucking heels, she's seven feet. 
pretty girl. I said, boy, go climb that tree. That's right, Lisa Leslie. That's right. Climb that tree, bring us a Kobe back. Then you a freak athlete, nigga, you frog legs. Nigga, bring us a Kobe back. Get the height in the family, nigga, shit. Bring us a Kobe back. He was like, hey, there she is. Oh, is that Tokyo Olympics? I see Olympics. Hey. Hey. I want to jump through some hoops, huh? Hey! Huh? My son told me, man, I ain't gonna never date no girl that's taller than me. I said, nigga, you're the same size when you lay down. Right. Okay, <laughs> nigga. That's what you told No, me. she can't be taller than me. I was like, nigga, what kind of insecure shit? That bitch fine as hell. Nigga. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Somebody said, bring us a shack, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, that girl right there. See, see how interested we are? And this isn't about objectification if you're doing it to yourself. Right, she put this out there. You, this is, okay. Listen, you see how, we don't, need, we don't know your stats. We, we don't know what she did in the, what she do in the WNBA. I have no goddamn mind. Right now we're in the <laughs> She could have been the towel girl. <laughs> this shit is wonderful. <laughs> I don't know what so wait, so that so means I... you only watch <laughs> basketball because of the yeah, sex, because you're not, you don't have, you don't have to be a sexy football Come player. Man, Why you keep on doing all that, man? Hey, just close the nigga, latch I'm, on your tooth. I am rebuking the devil, nigga. Man, <laughs> the shut up. Somebody <laughs> says she is fine and can get it. She just, Somebody said she that's Joanna. Joanna man. Joanna man. Joanna man was the played man. by a dude. dude yes. This is, this a, is a woman. woman. It's a lot and of niggas, you can man. See, man, when she's posting that dude up in that, in that basketball video, you can see she a woman. Every bit of her is a woman. <laughs> niggas be like that. The male ego is fragile to the motherfucker. She taller than me. She might be able to sock down. Right. That <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Said, bring me some flowers, nigga. <laughs> Tito, give me some tissue. <laughs> I don't see any masculine traits in this girl. Do y'all? No, I don't. No. If a nigga look like that, wait, hold on. I think this is late in the homosexuality. If you see a dude in a woman, yeah. is you looking for dick? <laughs> My lord. I'm confused. <laughs> like, nigga, I see a woman. I don't see no dude. <laughs> Somebody said, nah, that's a hard face. Would you want a round face? Because that could be it. She has, what, some, right. some European features? Would, would right. they, she has some European features. Even, the, I don't see the hardness that, you, like, put up uh, Sylvester Stallone's face. That's, <laughs> that's a hard, put up Dolph Lundgren's face. <laughs> that's a hard face. Dolph Lundgren. Listen, that ain't no hard face, nigga. That's not a hard face. She just not smiling. That's a hard Sorry, face. Man. Get this uh, Madame Tucson <laughs> wig having it. Get that shit out of here. That's a goddamn wax figure. Like, sometimes niggas be seeing. Bye, Brad, Jeff. How do you see the inner nigga in a woman? My Lord. That, that speaks to something. Like, there's something wrong. I see a nigga there. No. That is a woman. That is a woman, dog. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> it just sound gay to me. Nigga, I, I just I, see it as gay. I don't know what these niggas talking about. She thick as hell, boy. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> she thick as hell. Sarah, can you give me one more? Okay. Huh? You want more? I want another picture of this girl. I don't give a fuck who she played for. Okay. Kev don't either. Look at Kev. That motherfucker leaning forward. <laughs> Nobody even knows the name of the. Can you right. name it? How many yeah. NBA teams do you know? That shit say J. Cole, nigga. I don't know who J. Cole, J. Cole is. J. Cole flies. The same dude. Somebody same said a light skinned Shaq. Now, if that girl looked like Shaq, are you kidding? For the same you attracted that, to the real Shaq. Right. For the same ones that say that think this is a real woman. Huh? That's no, a that's, a that's, a that's a dude. That's a dude. And you can clearly you see feel it. the spirit right. of nigga on him. Ugh, get that off the screen, please. There is nigga <laughs> spirit all over that. Please get that from over me. <laughs> Okay, okay, tell me, man. Now, let me just, okay, go back to your point about hardness in face. Go back. No, go back to the picture of nigga dude. Nigga dude. I mean. Nigga, do you? Uh, this ew. nigga. <laughs> this nigga built like Bruce right, Lee, nigga. Come on. Like Bruce Lee. <laughs> 
This nigga, <laughs> this nigga built like Bruce Lee. Look like the game of death, nigga with makeup. <laughs> I'm just please. Y'all, you take it down there, goddamn. <laughs> Look how hard that bottom chin. Look at the square on. Come on, man. No, I'm good. Okay, now this is a now this. What? this no, you can take right that off here. now. Thank you. Whatever. Please take it off. Okay, <laughs> hold on. I got that over my I'm head. Because I think this lady is. Dear. When is this nigga leaving? Thank you. Right over Kevin's head. Right over his nigga's shoulders. Right. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Should I say that somebody lo- lacks from homosexual? I mean, you have homo. Um, nigga, got look at the clavicle, nigga. This is the nigga. She's gorgeous. Yeah, oh, she Skyler, is. Dick, man. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. In, 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 in uh, Jersey and everything. And then some like, niggas would say she got a strong face. She doesn't actually. No, she I doesn't. Heard- no, she doesn't. Some know. niggas would say she got a strong no, face. Does not no, she doesn't. I didn't hear motherfucker say it before. Niggas what? say she got a strong face. No, she doesn't. No, she doesn't. And and listen, she's fit. It's a lot of niggas yes, who don't like fit women. Right. Because they be on the flubber side. Mm-hmm. Nigga, I love fit women. Track bodies, <laughs> gymnast bodies, hoop oh star God. bodies, nigga. I love women that are fit. And I'm you used to be fit. <laughs> I, 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 like, I just want to watch. Nigga. She's she must be tiny, man. I want to watch your workout. She's probably like six one. Like, she, she, she don't look. Here, see, here, see, here, that's what I'm saying. Niggas be seeing. First off, if you see a dude that's in a woman, you might be the right. gay whisperer. <laughs> <laughs> you might be the gay uh, no, I see Rick Fox. Not at all. No dude in her. I see Rick Fox. <laughs> I see Rick Fox. <laughs> that nigga saw Rick. Anybody see Rick Fox? This nigga said Rick. <laughs> I see Rick she Fox. Oh, hold on. Let me show you Yeah, show us another picture of her. Oh, where we? Basketball oh, picture. I think lo- low key niggas. Oh, yeah. Hey, That's her? Yeah. yeah. See? Oh. Shit. Yeah. And she <laughs> tore her ACL too. Like them ACL tears be fine as shit. They be serious in the WNBA, man. Mm. Somebody called him the, the what? The lisp whisperer. <laughs> <laughs> that is the gayest whisperer of all. The lisp. <laughs> the lisperer. The lisperer. <laughs> <laughs> No, seriously though, man, y'all gotta stop fucking hating on beautiful women. Mm. Swin Cash. Fine. Swin oh, Cash. Mm. That girl Cash is, is ridiculous. Hey, we talked about her earlier. What was the other girl? What was her name? With the shoe, Cheryl Swoops. Cheryl Swoops. Cheryl Swoops was Swoops. pretty oh, too. Oh my god, absolutely. She no, was. She not. Oh, she back with a girl. I heard she was back with a girl. Just what? pissed me off. Damn. Listen, if you if you wavering, ladies, you know, <laughs> you in the in between, <laughs> like you in the in between. Yes, this dude is about to be waffling back and forth. <laughs> I suggest you you try as many niggas as you can before right. you get back. Who was that? Oh, she's a um, she's a WNBA player. Yeah, but um, I thought that was. Hey, no, who's the nigga? Like hey, who's the nigga? Hmm? I thought it was Karan Butler, nigga. <laughs> 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 this nigga said I thought it was Karan Butler. <laughs> I mean, oh, nigga, that's cool. <laughs> Somebody said Lil Romeo. Hey, but I think we should be honest since we're having this conversation. There are a lot of women in the WNBA who feel pressure to be gay. Yep, they sure do. Yeah, it was like some dope documentary that came out about this. I guess we'll just say that and then move on. <laughs> but that's why the reason they don't make a lot of money. Because the audience and stuff, they don't generate a lot of money because it's, it's more catered Ooh, to uh, swing, swing cat. cat. Yeah. Yes, Lord, right. have mercy, Jesus. She looked like <laughs> she looked like Nabouche Wright yes, in, in motherfucking yep, Blade sure right here. She sure does. Yeah. She sure does. 
Woo, Swin he Cat. Knew, he knew yeah, our full yeah, name. Yeah. He knew our full name and everything, boy. Look yeah, at that. Yeah, that's delicious right there, boy. That's that's. Swin Cash was dick. Yeah, you, gotta get, you can see when she was when she was balling, she'd be fine as hell, just balling. Like the fuck? Yeah, she fine as hell. Yeah, you gotta make sure your your dental game is up for her, nigga. Don't come in there. Okay, nigga. <laughs> Discolored teeth. That's right, nigga. You sh- what happened? Well, you gonna be fine. <laughs> that dental game is is on par. <laughs> I'm saying, nigga, he about to get his whole little, he got the stud, he got the metal stud in his, he got the shit, he gonna be fine. He gonna be all right. He's <laughs> mother. Yeah. Nigga, but I'm saying, if you go in there, nigga, you, you yellow discoloration, you got the jagged, uh, you got the Pez dispenser teeth. Okay. <laughs> Pez dispenser teeth. You know what I'm saying? Pez dispenser teeth. <laughs> nigga. I'm just saying, like, That's you know. hilarious. You know, some niggas' teeth look like Colossus. You remember Colossus yes. Uh, yes. from Magic Mountain? Nick. That old yes, wooden the roller, old coaster. roller coaster? Some niggas got the whole <laughs> teeth. You got to straighten out your teeth. <coughs> oh. You go, Look at this here, girl. Stretch for us. Stretch yeah. for thy legs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Balance on the motherfucking ball. How tall is she? She oh. got to be 6'3". There are more women than men, six so months. how the WNBA months. not more popular? Listen, the, the re, the reason. that doesn't mean just because they women they supposed to like basketball. There are a lot of women who don't even fuck with sports at all. Right. It's the way that they got it view the viewership of the uh, WMA is more. Get, there's a lot of gay people at the games and stuff, and a lot of families don't want to go. A lot of families just be like, hey, what kind of hit job is this? Yeah. That's the problem. Yeah. My little nine-year-old gonna come in here and get hit on. <clears throat> You gonna be ready in another nine years. So she's well, six, she's six niece, feet tall. My niece is gay, and she was a very like popular basketball player back home. All I and know is that's a very beautiful woman right there, boy. You understand me? That's Almond Joy, nigga. Good man, shit. Yeah, fine. Did you find out how yeah. tall she was? Sarah finds some more pretty WNBA girls. She's six feet. She's six feet, man. You got to change. Oh, she's six feet. Six she feet. ain't too tall. She good. She's she good size. Oh, that's a beautiful size. Mm-hmm. She's the right size. I'm six two. Me too. We come together. I'm not. I'm five ten. I still take it. No, nigga, you Michael Jackson height, nigga. That's all right. <laughs> all right, Brad. Job gone, Brad. I'm saying her and I get together. We have a baby. <laughs> the nigga gonna get the hoop from me. Oh, not from her? Not from, not from twin. <laughs> it's gonna come from you. No, no, I'm saying... <laughs> not the, the Hall of Famer. The hops is gonna oh, come from okay. me. No. She ain't got no motherfucking hops. No. It, it already proves that you can produce a basketball player. Oh, you so it's already. We don't know if she can. Yeah, but let me try. Let me, See, let me let me give it a shot. Why well, well, don't we? Oh yeah, man. <laughs> can we'll I give have, it, can I give it a shot? We'll have a Zoby Bryant. Ooh. I'll name that this nigga, nigga Zoby. Zoby Bryant. <laughs> <laughs> Zoby Bryant. Yeah, let's go, Schwinn. <laughs> Zoby Williams. Zoby Williams. The Green Eye Mamba. He look great, man. Listen. And it's a lot of beautiful women in the M- WNBA, yeah, yeah. man. It really is. They are, but it really is. And some that are not. But when they're not playing yeah, the there's basketball. Yeah, some, there's some strong arm robbery <laughs> faces. <laughs> strong arm robbery, nigga. Just put the motherfucking bag down. There's some of them niggas. In, like, <laughs> actually, I, actually oh, yeah, used to, yeah. I used to live with basketball players in college. I had two, two basketball players I lived with, two females. Somebody said Coop, deaf, fine as fuck. Who is Coop? Because the only Coop I know, oh, Coop Tia Shell Coops. Yeah. Yeah. Tia Who is that? Let me tell you some little oh, thick bodied, little curvy point guard for the LA Sparks. Tia Coopers? Oh, yeah. She's a delicious little player. I've watched them play, and she, 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 she got it. She got, she's very aggressive the way she plays. She attacks the basket. Yeah. Uh huh. She actually, she was, um, I think, with. Um, Dwight Howard for a minute. This is her. She went with Dwight Howard. Yeah. Well, really? You think so? <laughs> you missed the, missed Somebody the... said, I love you, Zoba. Bobby locked you down. Have you ever played against a spry, athletic, 
old, taken, <laughs> water-filled... <laughs> Until you've done it! An old, fried, taken, water-filled... <laughs> <laughs> Until you... Until you've done it! Don't ever judge me about it! Kangen water I had never had a sip of Kangen water at that time. That was what I bought it. Lock you down in the suit. You know, I mean, it's full of that water. And all the Kangen water in his pocket. Nigga, what? That's hilarious, nigga. Let me see that girl. That is funny as shit. Put that girl up. I don't want to see no nigga. <laughs> yeah, hey, I like, let me tell you something, man. The little subtleties that women do that I just love. That's, and a, it, that's a better. They, they all look good. Yeah. Her, look at her she leg. went to South Carolina? So that means she's at SEC. Okay, let me tell you something. Look at that. Look at that leg out and then other leg cover. It's like having a, it's oh, like yeah. having a split in your dress. Mm. Mm. Oh, I love the way when, see, let me tell you something that I love about a little basketball girl. Mm -hmm. When they roll up they mm -hmm. shorts, you know. She only 5'8", too? Yeah. Oh, yeah, she's, she's nice. beautiful. Yep. Yeah. Oh, nice height. 5'8", too? Oh, yeah. oh, that's a nice little that's wrestling nice, match. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Let's wrestle. <laughs> Let's wrestle. <laughs> it's a lot of niggas who think this girl is ugly because what? she's so fit. Are you serious? Her? Somebody says, Zoe, I don't care. Bobby gave you buckets. But... <laughs> he lost. <laughs> I struggled with him. She thinks. See your Kang and Waterfield. <laughs> He's a Kang and Waterfield. But no. Hey, put this up for me. What's the wrestler? Have you seen the wrestler? What's her name? Jade or something? Mm -mm. It's a sister. Niggas be like, she looked masculine. And she looked. Nigga, Jade. What, do y'all know the wrestler name? Somebody in this chat room, no? Somebody said she only likes strap-ons. Man, nah, we don't wow. know that. I don't know that. Right. Don't ruin my motherfucking. Okay, nigga, my fantasy, nigga. <laughs> I could have went home and thought about the shit, nigga. Oh, my goddamn fantasy. She, nigga. She's a black girl. What's it? Oh, there it is right there. Uh, Cargill. Jade Cargill. She's in the AEW. Man. Oh, is AEW? Let me tell you hey, something, man. AEW. Hey, Mike, look at this. Look at this girl right here and tell me if you see a man. I see a woman. Not this one right We already see a woman. Yeah, hey, pretty girl. With that one leg out. Yeah. I like all that. That one little, that one little yeah, thigh. Yeah. That one little end. Yeah, it's somebody showed me a picture of her. Boy, she ain't. China, that's what they call her name in, in the wrestling. China, C H Y N A. It's she, a she pat, oh. Oh. Not the white right, China right. that was in porn. She did. Oh. She died? She died? Yeah, yeah, she died. She passed. That's what I was about to say. Listen, if you're doing steroids, right. no, not her. You don't get Evelyn <laughs> Champagne King <laughs> on the screen. That's hilarious. Bet you she don't love you. <laughs> 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 this nigga is funny. Right here. Yes. Mm. That's not a woman. That is a woman. That's a woman. Okay, yeah. That's a oh. hundred percent woman. Whoa. Yeah. What's her you, name? She got a gang of pictures. Can you get a few pictures up so we can? I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get her up, but I got the, the honorable mention in my girl right here. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm God. Girl, you don't get. You don't her, get. She <laughs> your ass though. What's her wrestler name? Two tons of fun. Burger Murderer. <laughs> <laughs> Burger Murderer. Burger Murderer? <laughs> 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 Burger Murderer? 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 I want you! <laughs> burger murder! <laughs> That's fucked up. Nigga, burger murder. Man, this one right here. Yeah, she's straight. Back in the beginning, Somebody said meatloaf mauler. <laughs> the meatloaf mauler? <laughs> the meatloaf mauler! <laughs> That was great. Whoever that was, hey, uh, shout out to you, nigga. That was funny. 
Hey, <laughs> come on, girl. We forward. we about to wrap this show up. Right. Ooh. Oh, Jesus. I don't give a fuck how many muscles Wait, she I got. just I just follow oh, her on nigga, god damn. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? So I What the fuck? Some niggas be seeing men. I don't see no man. Just cause her motherfucking biceps bigger than yours and you your ego is bruised. But y'all don't know, she's flexing, y'all. Nigga. She look ain't man. like that walking around she all day. She don't look like that walking she around. She don't look like that walking around. She's flexing for the camera. <laughs> and she got motherfucking she oil tiny, too. Right. She tiny, man. She's like like probably 130 pounds. That's the same girl. Mm. That's the same girl. All for all this, 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 this. Mm. Yeah. All the same girl. Oh, God. Is there any more? Just give us a couple more pictures as we leave. Oh, oh, as we leave out? I mean, oh, my God. Somebody said, I think she's an ex-basketball player. What? That motherfucker is gorgeous. Yeah, and motherfuckers body. be seeing dudes. She got a track body. Mm-hmm. Track body, yeah, that's She got a track body. I don't see no dudes. Uh, okay. And we're about to go over here. Hey, can I get everybody to go? It's 800 people in here right now. Can everybody go purchase The Shrouded Lighthouse? I'm shipping out books all the time. Please go to theshroudedlighthouse.com. I'm trying to get rid of all... The books. Oh, All the books. Oh, say, can you see? <coughs> By the dog! God damn! In the name of sweet baby Ray's barbecue sauce. <coughs> Whoa. Oh, what the fuck? Man. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> you go back, what you go. the fuck? <laughs> oh! Lord have mercy. Whoa. <coughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. Lord. What the fuck? Lord. <laughs> hey, Woo! like. You, you didn't see, see the picture before. Oh, go, back, go back, go back, go back. <laughs> go back. Ew. Go to the tall one. Woo! Yes, Lord Jesus. Yeah. Have mercy, Jesus. Mike, <laughs> and all them white folks in heaven. Somebody <laughs> said she looked like Storm. Yeah, she did. Now, can your fat. Out of shape ass, live with a fit woman. I can't. Oh, her hand is right in her pussy, though, Kevin. Turn around. Oh. Hey! Hey! <laughs> hey! 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 Shit. Mom. You said nothing but you ain't said it. God damn See, this is what niggas do. This is what niggas do. This motherfucker found something wrong. Somebody said that's a long ass stomach, though. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's a long ass stomach. <laughs> 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 this I said built like uh, a javelin. Cargill. Yeah. All right, well, we had a motherfucking ball today. <laughs> we had a ball today. I'm just saying. <coughs> hey, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Please, please, please support the Shrouded Lighthouse. Go to the shroudedlighthouse.com. Get your order right now. It's 800 people in here. Can we get 50 of you to go right now? Let me see. And we have no orders. Okay, cool. Can we get 50 of y'all right to there. run right now to the shroudedlighthouse.com and purchase your copy of the book? I'll be shipping them out all week. Please support the book. It's a great book. And if you already have the book, go to amazon.com and leave a comment. Yep. All right? The shroudedlighthouse.com. Support, 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 support. We need your support. We need you to cash mob. Support my brother, realnagas.com. Know your rights foundation.org. If my real nagas is down for a second right now, but know your rights foundation.org if you want the vaccine cards or the whole package. And make sure you do your rituals tonight for, or in the next three days for the solstice. Uh-huh. And then my brother, Weed Juice, Hassan. 
we thanks for the support. Continue to support We Juice. Continue to be healthy for the new year. Almighty oh, icy. <laughs> mighty icy. You know what I'm saying? The witch doctor is all. I mean, the the juice wizard is always here to clean. The juice wizard. <laughs> Why are you laughing, man? Juice doctor. Juice the witch doctor. The witch king. The witch doctor. You said the witch doctor. I'm trying to. I'm, I'm, listen, man. I'm still trying to work on the name. I'm still, still working on the name. It's all good though. Okay. <laughs> what? We in the testing. We in the testing. <laughs> what, man? So next year the tooth go. The tooth is still. I don't know when, man. They gave you the post though. Yeah, I gotta wait two more weeks. So maybe next year, maybe? next year sometime. Maybe I get it before my birthday comes. Who knows? Shit. Ladies, thirty Capricorn. days from now. Thirty Ladies. days from now. He's a Capricorn. He does ten thousand push-ups a day. He has a Listen, saloon door in his mouth. He's I got a thirty-day challenge right now for for all, for all the guys to work out for the next thirty days. Thirty-day challenge. Work out. Yeah, so tooth. The, tooth, the juice. The juice. Tooth the juice. Hey, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Thank you for supporting, supporting, supporting. Don't forget to support Kev and my man Hassan and Sarah. Oh, Sarah's done a great job all year long, man. Yeah, buddy. Mm -hmm. I would love for you guys to hit Sarah up and show her your appreciation, man. The Lisp Doctor. Anyway, I would love <laughs> the please list. support Sarah without the H. Thank you so much. I love y'all and we out. Deuces. Mm -hmm.